Hi guys, it's Achi Luxury. Achi Luxury, I'm live on the Live with Clivers show. And uh, shit, shit, shit. One minute, guys. Small technical issue here. Technical issue. Far out. What's Clive doing? Is he on or not? I don't know. I'll just see if I can get Clive on here. Just see what's happening. We've got a bit of a... We've got a small technical issue, guys. Hey, Clive, did you get the link? Yes, I did. Okay, so if you want to come on, I've just got to make a quick call to someone very quickly. Come on. Okay, okay get on. You've got a small technical issue there. i just got to do something quickly. Um, Clive is here. We're talking watches. We're talking watches. We're talking watches. Clive is, we want to get Clive is on. Just wait for me. Just had a small technical problem here. It's, uh, hey, Clive, how are you? Good. How about you? Hey. Oh, damn. Hey, I just got to attend to something, but I'll be back soon. So we want to talk watches. We're not going to discuss other matters. We're talking watches only. Gotcha. And, and um, yeah, we just, we just, that's what we want to do. So, um, hey, I got to just do something quickly. I'll be back soon, Clive, as you take over. I'll be back very soon. <coughs> okay. So I guess we're going to talk watches. Also, uh, guys, I, uh, oh yeah, all right. Now, Tweet Corleone, we're gonna pretend, we're gonna pretend we don't know where you got that from. But truthfully, I think he's right. Because, you know, actually the GMT, actually the GMT did come, come on a Jubilee or an Oyster. I mean, I'm the gym. Yeah. So mine, I think mine's a service bracelet. I kind of like the two tone oyster on my gold nipple dial. But anyway, so anyway, I sent you a link to the Archie soundboard and it is just all sorts of fun. And now here's, now you want to talk, okay, now by, uh, I've got the, Here's something else. I'm kind of wondering if Archie knew this was coming. So I was going through it again. Be prepared to be anally raped. Yeah. I think somehow he knew. So anyway, uh, try to open up the Archie soundboard on your computer and have... Oh, by the way, whoever did that... Whoever did that... Um, I'm not actually doing a live stream right now. Anyway, whoever whoever did that, if you could also add um, Polar Explorer, maybe his other like five or six watches, forget about the Shitling, the tutor, because no one cares. If you could do that, then we could actually make our own Archie watch reviews. So, yeah. Now, it's kind of... Uh, I'm kind of wearing a shitter. Bear Clooney, how you doing? Been keeping up with the channel. Nice. Nice. Now, I'm wearing a fun little shitter, and I'll try to show it to you. It's not a devil diver. It is a caravel. But if you'll notice, right now at the 8 o'clock, well, no, I'm sorry, at the 2 o'clock going down, the second hand is actually a little white jet that just constantly flies around, flies around the dial. 
And I don't know what it is about that. That's just something I kind of like. You know, I'm a retard. What can I say? But I think it's a cool little watch. And the other thing that occurred to me is, you know, why is it that when, whenever you have a watch where it has the date, wherever, when you have the uh, date next, I mean, the day next to the date at 3 o'clock, you always consider that to be a lesser watch. I don't know what it is. The other thing I like about the jet is patina. And you'll notice I've got Archie singing it now. So that's, yeah. <clears throat> uh, let's see. The other thing is, I don't see what else. I got, I did go ahead and, uh, oh, too many holes in it. Good. Oh, guys, I mean, like I said, uh, the Archie soundboard is literally, well, maybe not hours of amusement, but but minutes of amusement. Um, let me switch back to it real quick. Hopefully you guys can hear this. Um, that's... Trouble is, when I watch on a laptop stream... Shit! It, it it's it it compresses it all together, so I have to. I mean, it prints it out too big. I have to really s scroll in and out of it. But God, trouble is. I gotta be completely honest with you. I love butt fuckers, butt fuckers. Yeah. Anyway. Fuckers, 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 fuckers. Um, and there's at least five different men on the moon. Men on the moon? Men on the moon. Men on the fucking moon. The Omega Speedmaster, man on the fucking moon. Men on the moon? Okay. Well, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. And we'll take some quick qu questions. Oh, uh, sorry. I'll switch back to the window so I can see what's going on. The 14270. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 36 millimeters. But I think it's the perfect size for a dress watch. One of the things I like about it, unlike the date just are the same size, the legibility of this thing is just great so it's small it's unobtrusive it's kind of like an under the it's kind of like an you know under the radar Rolex and uh, really liking it but I, I think I'm going to go back to the Caravelle right now I've got Mark Goldberg bird disease you know actually thank you bear I appreciate that you also have some hard-hitting pieces yourself now I don't know, guys. Who do you think we should let on? Do you think we should maybe let on... Uh, I, I see what Marky Mark's doing. And by the way, now the... Um, I'll see what... And we'll also send a we'll also send a link to Dr. Bruce. And no one no one might join us, who knows? Everyone might think Archie is somewhere that we're uh, not really gonna talk about. Okay, well, unfortunately, Mark is out with friends. Well, okay. Do, 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 do. I'll try and see what Ving's doing. Come on. I 
I mean, I only talked to Don that much this week. So we sent the invitations out. We see who's going to. Yeah, Mark has actually had dinner with friends. So Mark has friends. So I'm going to put on the uh, put on the caravel again. Now the caravel. The caravel is not even really a devil diver because it doesn't have the 666 feet. But still. <clears throat> uh, let's see. t a good watch for a... Uh... No. No, fries with mayo? Uh, no, there's no way I can eat a whole pizza. Sorry. Not in one sitting. Oh, it does. And oh, also one of the nice things about the Caravel is it even has the, uh, you probably can't, there's probably no way you can see that with this damn webcam camera, but it actually has the original bracelet and clasp to it. Did Archie pocket the $500 to shave his horns? No comment. I'm back. I'm back. Hey. I'm back. Uh, thank you for covering me. Sorry about that, to put you on That's the right. spot like that there. I just had a very good friend of mine. I had to take his call. Very, very That's good right. friend. He gave me a b bottle of Johnny Walker Blue with my name etched into the bottle. That's uh, Oh, that was nice. That, that is really was, nice. That was for my birthday, my 40th. Clive, I want to talk to you. I just had a conversation with him. We're talking about just the watch market and uh everything is gone crazy like he said to me he had a pre a pre daytona chronograph okay and he bought it for 25 us he sold it for 30 the dealer sold it within minutes for 39. Mm. wow wow and, and um he uh, he also said to me he said the whole paddock market is 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 crazy the paddock five seven one ones that's the nautilus the aquanauts they've really gone crazy the more dress watch one seems to be um quite that they haven't seemed to have exploded um vintage no, rolex that's, that's something that's something you've always said from the beginning rolex steel sports stunners you've said that from the beginning yeah yeah i don't know if you saw my video i recorded yesterday i posted it online by the way guys paid reviews they are coming through they are a little bit slow due to some personal issues but this the paid reviews are coming through they do come through i basically when a paid review comes in i like to go through it i think about it and then i make the vid so I had a good question yesterday. The guy said, what's the best Explorer 2 to buy? Does he get Luminova? Does he go Tritium Dial? Does he get the 3185? Does he go the 3186 movement? And I said to him, just buy one. By the, by the well, way. You know, well, go ahead. Go, by the way. Go and show me, show me, show me. By the way. No, no. I mean, actually, the Tritium does have one advantage over Luminova and Super Luminova. Patina. Yep. Oh, yeah. And like now, you said, so... Uh, what's like, happening as far as prices go? They're not worth more than the later ones, are they? Um, Not at this stage. No, not not at this stage. So I actually but, think if you, can, if you can find an older one that's patinaed like this, that's why I think it's a... That's why I think this one is a bargain at the price I got it for. How much did you get it for? 46 box and papers. Okay, they're going up. Forty six is still paying for it, but you can't get them cheaper than that, Clive. Is can you? No, no. And here's the funny part: literally a year ago, they were thirty five. That would have been thirty thirty six. I got I got like a polar, no holes case, solid, solid as a rock for thirty four hundred. That's right. You sold it to Nasty Vinyl Cody. Yes. Yeah, he got a deal and a half. You sold it to him cheap as well, didn't you? 
Well, yeah, unfortunately, I, I too closely followed the example of the pontiff and sold it prematurely. Yes, yes, yes. No. And so my advice to this guy was just buy one. Don't muck around about which dials do you want, Luminova or Tritium. Um, no, I will. Okay, now, but, 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 but. I, I, I take issue with something you said on that, though. What's that? The, it, okay, the one I had, the one I bought, it was originally a Polar, and it was like, uh, it was like the one I originally bought a year ago. Solid end links, Luminova, you know, and someone switched it. They, they didn't want the Polar, and they switched it to a black dial, and the black, the dealer put on the wrong age of the watch, put on a tritium dial on it. Mm-hmm. The tritium dial did not belong on that year of the watch. No, I understand. I and also did not match the hands as well. So that way you've got a dead tritium dial, and then you've got glow up, glow in the dark um, hands. So, yeah, mismatched. I mean, one would, I, I'd even call that a Franken watch, just about. Oh, no, 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 no. It's just got the wrong dial. Fr Franken is really messed around with. Franken is. Like, uh, it's been, it's been screwed with. I'll put it that uh, way. But it's just the dial the, and it's not the wrong model. It's just, it's not the, I, yeah, it's almost, I don't the think right. it's that terminal. I don't think it's as terminal as you say, but well, you know, I guess now on the other hand, if you're going to buy like an antique $300, you're gonna buy if you're going to buy an antique watch for yeah, like fair point, for this was, this was not, a, it's not a cheap watch. It was many thousands of dollars. Don't buy the mistakes. It's got a mistake. Right. Now, what's this? Tell me about this Explorer One. Tell me when you bought this. Give I me the at, lowdown. I bought that at the beginning of the week. It's a 14270. 142. Okay, so what year is it from about? 96. 96. Okay, that's sort of in the middle of production run there, isn't it? Right, it's not a blackout. Because they came um, out in 91, I think. The 14, the blackout was for the first year. That was the the um nope, when they the changed I... from the 1016 to the 14270 what sort of clasp is that can you show me the clasp on your watch oh you've got the you got the got the flip lock clasp that's the newer clasp yep that's 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 a weird link clive i can see you got one link there it doesn't quite match what's wrong with that link oh i pulled a spare link out of my mill goss and stuck it in until i get the proper one okay i had a spare mill I have that, that. I have to admit, I'm impressed. You picked up on that immediately. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. I understand. It's got the, it's got the polish the shining. Yeah, on that one. yeah. Okay, okay. So, tell me this. Um, I actually you... really, I really like this thing. I mean, it is. Mm. It's you know, some people say 36, but you know, for a three hand watch. How much did you pay for it? What did you pay for this? Uh, 36. 36. Geez, that's not bad buying. I don't know where you can get them that cheap. It's good to be the Clive. It's good to be the Clive. That's not a bad buying that there. That's that's pretty damn good. I don't think you get that cheaper anywhere, in, to be honest with you. No, and I actually, I mean, you know, I really, really like this thing. It's it's the same size as a date just, but the legibility, the legibility of the dial is just standout compared to it. So mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think 36 for a three-hand watch with good contrast is sufficient. Okay. So, uh, Uberoki showed me a bunch of stuff, showed me a bunch of stuff, and I passed on all of it. Okay. You know, what um, did he show you? I may have sent you pictures a while back. Do you ever feel obliged to buy things just to stay in his inner circle, or...? Sometimes, well, no, sometimes I feel bad, but he's like, no, he's like, I understand. If it doesn't talk to you, don't buy it. What What did he show you? Tell me what garbage you let go. This is the fish that John West rejects. What did Clive reject? Tell me what was uh, there. Let's see, a Hoyer chronograph. A Hoyer chronograph? Redial. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, no, no, I already got, that box is already checked. How much was that? Was it cheap? Ah, uh, like 450 bucks. Okay. Yeah, okay. I would have, yeah. Hard, yeah, okay. Next. <coughs> 
there was another there was another one also i can't remember what i can't remember what off brand it was also redial it was a larger one it was a larger one but it was um probably had a value 22 but off brand it was also it wasn't a great redial so you know i could have got that one for like 550 but i think he wanted too much for it even you know okay what now, else there was a gold movado oh <clears throat> Dr. Bruce has a $5 question. Is a blackout more rare than a rare bird? I would say no. Well, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, well, I mean, a rare bird, you've got to understand, a rare bird is a complete watch, right? Whereas the blackout is just a dial variation. I, I would say in my book, um, the rare bird is a is probably I, I would I reckon that's a it's going to get more wow factor that's what we care about wow factor we want recognition from collectors a blackout is cool but not many people would know what that I think it, the, the the rare bird would have more wow with the friends and collectors they're both cool but they're both very very cool that's the two-tone rare bird any updates on the steel rare bird the rare 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 bird the rarer bird any updates? No, it's just sitting there stripped naked and the dial has been sent off to geneva and we're waiting for it to come back so they're going to replace the hands and the dial yep are the hands unique to that watch or they're just standard hands um i think there's just standard hands on that one but if you if the but we want you know we don't want a clean pure dial with corroded hands no, no, the corroded Even, hands are always a bad look. People don't like that, Clyde. Right. So, Dr. Bruce, so is Clyde's back? No, I do not have a blackout. No, this, no, a blackout. If Dr. A, a Bruce black... wants to come on, he's more than welcome, Clivey. Okay, and Dr. Dr. Bruce, Bruce, if you want to come on, just email uh, email archieluxury72 at gmail.com. Oh, just tell us now in the comments. Oh, oh, oh I can find that. Okay. That thing. There's no problems there. Dr. Bruce is cool. Um, no, it, it's not a blackout. A blackout, the three, six, and the nine, my, in this, the, it, you'll have to excuse the shitty $100 webcam uh, camera that Archie sold me for $200. Yeah. But the uh, three, six, and nine ha don't have white paint, or in the middle of them, they have black paint. So that's why it's called a blackout. It's just a dial variation. Yes. Uh, a rare bird, a rare bird is rare. I don't, I think a rare bird is rarer. Rarer. Rare, rare. Rare, rare, also, um, I think that, well, and of course the rare, rare bird. Yeah. I, I'm just, yeah. And I, like I said, I'm having, I'm having Uberoki's pocket jeweler look at the uh, Zenith surf and just make sure, look at, look it over, make sure it's up to snuff. I really like that one. It's it really has a lot of the I've wow factor. I actually had someone who said to me, "These people do they exist?" It, someone said, "Is is Clive, is Clive suffering from schizophrenia with all these Uber Oki, Uber Oki's pocket jeweler? We've got all these these people do actually you exist, know, don't they? They they actually exist. <laughs> They're in um, Oklahoma, and Oklahoma's just brought back the death penalty. They're starting to. You know, why ain't just brought back no we've always had the death penalty i heard you guys now are using nitrogen is that true i'll have to look and see i mean i'm not surprised we had a temporary hiatus because we kept fucking them up so you botched it you botched it so many times this is what happens right. when the cheapest contractor wins right well the thing is and the thing and the thing is the pharmaceutical companies do not want to provide chemicals to put people to death because it's bad PR. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, they no, don't want because, to provide it. No, because it's sponsored bad by Pfizer. Exactly. This, this, yeah, I see. Got you. Wow, amazing. No. What is this? This is. What brand is that, Clive? I can't read it. Well, yeah, on, on with, your two dollar on the webcam that you sold me for two hundred dollars. Or yeah. five hundred dollars. What is that there, Clyde? Every time you tell the story, it adds another hundred dollars to the cam price. Exactly. 
Well, you keep adding it. You keep adding it that to the lease payments. <laughs> uh, it's it's actually well, it's kind of like a variation of the Devil Diver. It's it's a caravel. Okay. Couple th couple things about it is. Mm, I've heard of that brand it. before. Believe it or not. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, two things. You if you'll notice the hands and the indices. Do you want to sing it with me? Patina. But if you'll also notice, I'll see if you see where it is. If you'll notice at 10 o'clock. Mm. The, oh, Dr. Bruce joined the call. Dr. Bruce. The Gentlemen. second hand. Hey, doctor, how are you? Good. No. The second hand is actually a little white jet that just flies around the dial. Oh, which wow. Is, wow, it's, wow, it's, wow. It's kind of retarded, but I do like it. Now, Dr. Bruce, what the hell is that avatar? You've got an Amiga Speedmaster with a Jubilee bracelet. What's happening there, Doc? Hello, Doc? He's in the airport again. Okay. Okay. That's okay. No worries. We'll keep we'll keep going. We'll see if we can get him back again. Um, Three Carleone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bugsy Malone, yeah, you're right. Bugsy Malone said, Clive is an Uber. I've seen Uber's knee. That is correct. Bony old man knee, by the way. Cl Clive is what, he said? Cliver, Cliver is not Uber. I've seen, I've seen Uber's knee, and it's not Clive's. Oh, Dr. Bruce. No, we have two doctors. Hey, doc. I don't know what's going on. I think you're working on a cloning project. That's what it is. So now there's then before next then five minutes will be like three doctors along the bottom of the screen. What can I tell you? It's so been Dr. one of those days. Dr. Bruce. Okay. I wanted to say to you, a good friend of mine just sold his pre Daytona Rolex chronograph. He he bought wow. it for twenty five thousand US, right? And he sold it back to the dealer for thirty. The dealer sold it for thirty nine in minutes. And uh, it's a very interesting market for that sort of stuff. The Rolex. Hello, Doctor. A third doctor will come along next. Third doctor. Doctor yeah. Who. Doctor Who. Nice. Um, no, you know, I am a Doctor Who fan, aren't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Favorite uh, doctor? As for, as for, uh, that would be a toss up. You see, I, it, uh, to, it's either Tom Baker or David, David Tennant, yeah, number David four Tennant. or number I love, 10. Yeah, I but on David. the other hand, Tom Baker. I mean, Tom Baker was alien. He was you know cool. how I think would make a, you only think would make a good appearance on Doctor Who? Who's that? You. You reckon? Yeah, they wouldn't have to do hardly any makeup to ha, you. Ha, 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 ha. That's it. Boom, boom, Clivers. Yes, Doctor Who. I love Doctor Who. I did. I actually got a couple of things. Um, it was kind of neat, actually. Yes. I, I got. I got actually a gift. David Herman, man, thanks, dude. I mean, really, really, thanks. I, he blown me away. Now, um, um, I, I got something yesterday. Do you want to see it? Sure. Now, now I know what you're thinking, and it's not a lady boy. Speaking of gifts, let me show you something. Look what came in yesterday for me. I had a box of chocolates. These came in from. These came in from my good friend, Bear Clooney. Yes, I saw that. I, yeah, actually, Bear yeah. I, sent them. I really do like Bear's channel, by the way. I've been watching it. Hey, Doc, Ooh. how are you? Three. No, we got three doctors on the bottom of the screen. I, I swear to God, he's floating. He's floating. Clutter. Clutter. Clive, are you doing this to my computer? Is it you that's yeah. doing this? No, actually, wait. Let me let me ask you one simple question. Is your name Don Haynes? <laughs> but oh how, does, how is it you knew there was going to be three of them? 
because I knew. I mean, so far, you know, one then pops up, and the second one pops up. It's like it's like multiplicity with Michael Keaton. Now, Clive, okay. Clive is. I'm just going to go into the other room. Just give me one minute. Well, I want to give my kids. I will show you something, and it, it's an Adidas exercise top, which I think might be a little bit of a subtle hint. Wow, you're losing weight, Clive. Well, thanks, but yeah. See, now the thing is, if I'm wearing an exercise top, should I wear? The, if I'm wearing an exercise top, should I wear a gold watch? Yes. Okay. Are you gold doing? sub? Gold sub sports watch. How you doing? How you Forget doing? About it. Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> Clive, just give me one minute. I'm going to go and oh, share wait, some I, of these chocolates with my children. Oh, wait, wait, I'll wait, be wait, one wait. minute. Let me, well, let me show you the other thing real quick, okay? This just came in. To, oh, no, 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 no. Let me show you what came in today, okay? Charlie Herman, man, you are the man. Very large watch box. Oh God, I wish no. Oh, open it upside down. Five is. What do you get? Oh, Frank. Joe Brahms. Johannes. Johannes. Johannes Brahms. Brahms. <clears throat> this is a Mont Blanc, is it? Yes. <coughs> you bought this, or was? No. Actually, Charlie Herman gave it to me. You're joking. That, that yeah. huge that huge box for an ink pen? Yeah. Well, look, it has the presentation book. Now, keep in mind, Charlie also <clears throat> is like a great music teacher, piano teacher. So I imagine he probably gets quite a few of these as gifts at the end of instruction. You're joking. He gave it to you? Yeah. yeah. Why? I don't know. Look, you don't look a gift pen in the house, in, in the mouth there. That's fucking beautiful oh it is that's a tuning fork that's for tuning i don't think those are cheap either no just put that back in the box clive if you don't know what you're doing just put it back in the box now guys i'm just going to go and give one of these chocolates to my children i have children i have oh, and by the way, look, at, look at the clip oh wow it's like a tuning fork where's the top it's got the mont blanc logo on it i'll be back in one minute I'm just amazed that the box is that size, but nice presentation. Love it, Charlie. That, and by the way, it's hot. It's like it's it's already like 80 degrees in Oklahoma. So, Charlie, I'm going to take the top off. I'm going to go topless. Thank you so much. You are awesome. Appreciate it. So, Clive, you when you were messing with my computers and everything, I missed out on Archie's story. Okay. Um, okay. I, I just want to know the punchline. How much did his How much did his friend's Daytona sell for? Uh, he was telling me, but I wasn't really listening. I, I normally tune out during these things because, <laughs> wait, here he comes back. <laughs> None of us are listening, Clive. What? None of us are listening. Right. So, Archie, uh, how much did the Daytona go for? The Daytona, it was a pre Daytona, right? Right. He bought, it for 20, he bought it for 25. The dealer offered him 30 for it back, right? And the same dealer sold it in five minutes for 39. Well, yeah. That's why that's why I saw the good doctor because you know the dealer's not going to buy it back for what he can get it for, so. So mine would mine would be like forty five. I bought it for thirty. The guy wanted to buy it back for like thirty nine, so it probably would sell for forty five. Mm. Now, hey, now Archie, I think there was a watch review where someone was talking about wanting to uh, trade a date just back to a used jeweler for a. Mm. Uh, you and basically, that one? he paid he paid forty two for the he paid forty two for the date just. It was a sixteen two three four, which is a thirty six mil steel date just white gold bezel. 
and he wanted to trade it back for 3500 to the same dealer and buy a Pepsi. And I said to him, why? You're losing 700 US dollars. What do you think, Clive? I think it's dumb to trade in your pieces constantly if you can't afford the next piece. Well, I mean, I think the same advice I'd give him would be the same advice I'd give you. What's that? Be prepared to be anally raped. <laughs> There we go. Yes. And, and and I can't believe you would even consider it. $700 loss. I don't know about your world, Doctor. $700 is a lot of money, don't you think? Oh. $700 is a lot of money. Super chat. Uh, doctor, talk about the Ultraman. Yes. Well, <clears throat> this is not a real Ultraman. It's an Ultraman tribute. So basically, the Ultraman was a model that was only produced for one year, and it had the orange hand instead of the standard, you know, moon watch uh, second hand. And um, I like to look at it. What's that? Well, it's Ultraman. Very good. <laughs> I probably should share the share the screen. Go ahead. Okay, all right, all right. Very good watch. By the way, by the way, do you call it the you call your Ultraman the Mighty Hayata? You, please tell me you call it the Mighty Hayata, right? Oh, okay. are you five Mighty Hayata? I thought it was, I thought it was a mighty Hayata. It could be anyway. Go ahead. I'm sorry to sorry to interrupt. No problem. So so basically, when I when I got this watch, it was after listening listening and digesting several of Archie's videos about which which Speedmaster should you get, and I wanted the eight six one instead of the three two one because I didn't want to spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. But I also wanted the applied logo, and that's when I went with the transitional. It was the perfect compromise. And then when I saw this orange hand on eBay, it was a vintage orange hand, and I said, why not? This is not, this is to be worn by me, and I like it. So my watchsmith put it on, and Ultraman tribute. And nice. what happened to the bracelet? Tell me about the bracelet. What's the bracelet? That's just a Holzer bracelet. It's a uh, South American variant, which appears to have been produced by JB Champion, as best as I can tell. Got you. So it looks, it looks a lot like a Jubilee, because I think JB Champion was involved even with Rolex's uh, Jubilee bracelets. But it looks a little bit like it, but not quite. I oh. see. Dark. What an amazing story there. And uh, tell me this. Have you bought anything this week? Clivey has bought, he's got an Explorer 2 and an Explorer 1. You bought two this week or one, Clive? Uh, I bought the Explorer 2 last week. Okay. But that's well, you know, Clive tries to buy a watch every day. So that is, that is such, that is no, no. Uh, -uh. I disagree with that completely. You think I'm a hater? Wait, did you say tries? I said tries, yes. Okay, yeah, but yeah, to I totally agree with that, yeah. Now, Doc, yeah. have you bought anything this last two weeks? Uh, no. <laughs> That's one of yours, too, yeah. Um, I, I've been looking at getting a Daytona still, and 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 it's a lot of money. I'm a modern very one? A modern trip. one, or... When you say a Daytona, what do you what are you meaning? Like a well, uh, a more modern one, yes. Wouldn't you go for Zenith movement? That's where the sweet spot would be with considering your other Daytona. I think we've lost our good doctor again. I'm afraid. Uh, I think so. Yes. It's okay. He'll, he'll replicate. He'll replicate himself quickly enough. Uh, yeah, actually. Wow. Oh, okay. Ten dollar super chat from Vlasis. We'll just call him VD. Okay. Anyway, VD. Hi guys. 
I have a Panerai Luminor Marina GMT Pam 88 that I got from my dad 10 years ago. I'm wow. looking to purchase my first Rolex. Which one would you suggest? Datejust 41, a GMT2, or mm -hmm. Sub? I'm 28, and I'm an architect in the UK. Oh, you have to go Sub, no date for architects. That's the architect's choice. Sub, no date, pre-ceramic, two-line preferably, maybe four-line if you have to. Yeah. And uh, you're going to wear it on a real sexy James Bond NATO. That's what you're going to do. Or the rubber, doctor. rubber, like Clive's is on rubber. Well, yeah, but I still have the, I totally have the original bracelet. Of course, yes. Doctor. doctor. Somebody's screwing with me. No, but anyway. No. Doctor, tell me this. Um, a 28-year-old no. architect in England who's got a, he's got a PAM GMT. Next watch, he wants to get a Rolex. He had a choice of a Datejust 41, a, Peps, a, a GMT2, or a sub. You'd have to go sub if you're an architect, wouldn't you? I would think he'd want to go sub also just because, you know. He's already got a GMT. Well, he's got a Panerai, a Pam GMT, which is a diver and a GMT. It's kind of. But also, this is going to be his first Rolex, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. It might be his only Rolex. We don't know if he's going to say, oh, I'm going to get into the Rolex thing or not. You might as well go with the classic, uh, you know, if he has the opportunity, go with the classic Rolex, which mm. may could be his only Rolex. And architects should smoke pipes as well, don't they? They smoke pipes. I thought you were going to say smoke pot. No, um, pipes, pipes, pipes. Pipes would be a good idea. Pipes yeah. would be a good idea. As we know, as we know, Archibald Chesterfield the Third would never condone any sort of illegal activity whatsoever. No, that's exactly. Archie right. has never engaged in any illegal activity whatsoever. That's and, it. And Clive. certainly not no consumption of illegal substances. That's well, for actually, sure. I, I've never ever tried any pot i mean a lot of people don't see pot as a problem but i have never even but okay but seen or tested back, it let's go back to the set question i've got a follow-up question so what would be the more iconic piece the date just or the sub sub because sub 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 no date. Love Mariners, like that's 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 why i say you got to go with the sub over the date just if you're only going to get one Rolex, that's the Rolex to get. I, I could argue, I think I could argue that the date just is just as iconic, if not more iconic, than the Submariner. Yeah, but the date just is worn by uncool people. This guy's an architect. They're super cool. So they wear a sub. But Actually, cool Clive makes a good point in a way. It, it, the, the question is, what is your kind of watch? Clive's kind of watch is a dress watch. Maybe maybe the architect's watch is a sports watch. Who knows? Maybe it's a chronograph. Uh, architects are close to engineers in some ways, and as an engineer, I loved chronographs. So mm. maybe maybe he needs to first think about what he likes in his watch and then make okay. a decision. Based on that. Fair point. Now, that is not to be confused with an Archie date, date watch. <laughs> hashtag, Archie date. hashtag Archie Date Watch. Now, okay, now, did you guys happen to see the Rolex video that was posted on Facebook? <coughs> I'm unfortunately using I'm, IE, and my Facebook doesn't work on this PC. And I avoid Facebook on principle. Well, it looked, it was a teaser trailer, and it looked like a watch either exploding or coming together. And it was definitely a Jubilee bracelet on a... Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, okay, we'll come back to this. Logan Smith, $5. How you doing? Or five pounds. Hey, Clyde. Thinking about... Well, no, I'm, no, you need to be talking to Archie here. Thinking about getting a vintage Docs at Calatrava watch from the 1950s. What movements should I be keeping an eye out for? You know, I don't know. Docs is just a never. It's not a brand I haven't gotten into. It's I've a heard bullshit about it. brand. It's a shitter. Doxer is garbage. Why are you even considering buying this stuff? I mean, do you realize the average man lives to about seventy six? Okay. And you're going to waste time on what Doxer should you get? Vintage Docs. Vintage from the nineteen fifties. Uh, 
Doxes suck. Get yourself a Rolex. Rolex. What do you think, Doc? Hey, this guy's wasting brain cells saying, what Doxes should he get? Don't get any. They're terminal. I would have to analyze what's the advantage of a Doxa. They're what, cheap. What advantage They're, are cheap. They're is, cheap. They're cheap. Is it the same size? Is it, is it something like a 35, 34, 33? No, it's a okay, Doxa, no. Doxa dive watch. They're, they're just a horrible, no, ugly, no. nasty Cal thing. Travel watch. Cal Travel Watch. I'll hold it. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Shit is. Okay. You see, I, I went. Okay, I don't know why he's did, wasting his time looking at a doctor. You're fucking for. Well, real. well, okay, but let's let's let me go to screenshots here. Here is a doxa Calatrava. So you know, and a Calatrava is basically, even though technically, it's just basically a style of watch. You know, three yeah, a three yeah, hander. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. I agree with. I agree with Paul though. You can get you can get a Rolex in that time frame. A 1950s Rolex is not going to be crazy expensive because it's a little smaller. And it'll get you the same. It'll get you the same watch, but it's just more quality. Oh, it's a decent brand. The Doxa is garbage. Let's be honest there. Let's not beat around the bush. But the it'll Doxa. be it'll be a higher quality. It'll, it'll have applied indices. That one yep. may or may not. Yeah, Doxa just sucks. That's like collecting. It's like collecting fucking dog turds and putting them in your freezer unless it's a two hundred dollar watch and that's what he's that's what he's trying to get it's a two hundred dollar watch why would you spend five dollars on a super chat if you're asking about a five hundred dollar watch actually do you want to genius do you want to rethink that position here okay so take a second take a okay. second that might not be the best question to be asking okay. sorry days. guys sorry sorry i've had a hard week hard week hard week all right I mean, hard week, very hard week. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, like, Docs has been around for a while, and it, it, there's a lot of, let's face it, every almost every brand has been consumed by a major clock, uh, conglomerate anyway, except for Rolex. So um, some ended up, some ended up in better hands or a li little bit more prestige or a little bit more um, liberty to, to operate. So Jean-Luc Couture and whatnot, you know, Lange for Pete's sake, Lange, which everyone's jerking off over, it had to completely shut down for about 50 years, really. So, um, oh, okay, Stephen K., I'm sorry. I am, let me go back and look for you. Oh, okay. No, it's been a tough. Oh, okay. S Stephen K., $2 super chat, Archie. No, it's been a tough week. Name the scotch you want. Who's that? He said, name a scotch you want. Look, I don't ever <clears throat> want to say how much somebody should spend on a gift for me. Basically, any single malt scotch is fine, okay? Any single malt is fine. I don't ever want to mention money or levels. I appreciate any... any um, any kindness is appreciated, okay? And like I said, there's a lawn jeans also. Not exactly in the best hands now, but... Yeah. And you know what? They molested the dial. They cleaned the dial up. What was that moron thinking? Well, you clean a dial because you either you have... that patina! Have... Well, you know, I'll have to get the loop out. I'll have to get the loop out and, and look at it. But um, oftentimes, I think they clean the dials on the on the watches that they thought were not worth very much, and why not clean it? Yeah, exactly. But on the other hand, it is still pretty. I mean, at least I'm looking at the print. Okay, let's be honest. They left the indices alone. They left the print alone. The print is still machine print. It's not handwritten. It's not scribed. I'm okay with that. Now, you know, and when you think about it. Is there that huge of a difference between, oh, Leg of Lynn 12 coming your way, big boy, says Stephen K. Thank you, Stephen. Thanks, Stephen K. But like I said, there is a, 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 is a turn of matic on the And, and by the right. way, guys, if, if you just send that any alcohol, instead of sending it through the post, which causes customs trouble, just 
get it through Dan Murphy's. And the nearest Dan Murphy's to me is Middle Park, 4074. And um, that's the postcode, 4074. And I'll gladly pick it up. So um, just email me for details. I'll give you my details so that it can be picked up. They basically want my phone number, which I will give you if you're sending me a gift like that. So $5, $5 super chat by Bing Tin Yang. Thank you. I hope the kangaroo court doesn't send you somewhere awful like a penal colony in the southern hemisphere. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. No, there is something there is something worse than a penal colony. That is a penile colony. Uh, be prepared to be anally raped. Yes. Okay. Let's not talk too much was about that it. A was that an alley oop? Did Bing do that for an alley oop? Is that what happened? <laughs> anyway. I also I did I did a quick little search on this uh, Doxa thing and maybe it's a tribute to Clive because apparently the Doxa, the hero of the Dirk Pitt book series by author Clive Cousier, wears an orange face Doxa. Maybe that's what he's looking for. He's loving that Doxa. Also, Robert Redford wore Doxa in three days of the conflict. That's Doxa. Right. Yeah, but Doxa still sucks. He also wore a, a Submariner. You know that too, don't you? And one of his movies, he wore a Seiko when he was out on that boat. Yeah, we don't, we don't mention that. We don't mention that, Doc. It's called Bad oh. Taste. You know oh, about oh, oh, Bad oh. Taste, Doc? We don't I mention that. Let's, you know, let's, we, go, let's, go back, let's go back to the Rolex video. It's a teaser video, but it shows a all-steel Jubilee bracelet either exploding or imploding onto a sports case. I love it. Now, I have and, my Submariner, I believe. But you know what? Sports model Rolex traditionally came on a Jubilee, right? GMT. Yep. Yep. Either, you know, of course, you know, to get really... Um, there are many people who have penal envy of us lucky Australians, says Stephen Miller. Now, now keep in, you know, Jubilee, is, especially especially the new one being solid, you know, so it used to be um, the, the old ones, the folded, the hollow ones would have a really bad tendency to stretch out like the present, much worse than uh, oyster bracelets. But the new solid ones, they should be comfy as hell and salt dependable as hell, solid as hell. Well, I'll say... So, so do you think I'll say that things, the old ones are more comfortable? They are. The old yeah. ovals are more comfortable. A little bit. Now do you now do we want to conjecture about any proposed GMT? You think you think <laughs> Rolex Doctor, have you have you seen it? Uh, the, the, I think you're I think you're thinking that they're gonna pop up with a Coke or a Pepsi at Basel. Is that what you're talking okay, about? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull it up. I'm going to try to pull it up, and that way Archie can watch it because I've got a Mac. I can tell you're Actually, I, I've got it up. I can bring it up. <laughs> yeah, actually. You want me to bring it up? Yes, Archie. We all want to see you bring it up. Okay. Hang on. And guys, it'll take a little bit. It, it, it takes Archie a little bit at his age to get it up. That's a little, not the prettiest thing to be talking no. about, Clyde. No. Okay, here we go. This is the very uh, famous team, website, uh, the Rolex Passions Report. The passion of the Rolex. There we go. Sorry, Jim Casaville. Is that a new Milgauss? Wait a minute. Is that a new Milgauss? I haven't seen that. This is this this the Rolex Passions Report. They always discuss what they think is coming out at Basel. Oh, I see. That's their prediction for the new Milgauss. Yeah, so you've got, got see, I don't know if you know this, but the Milgauss many years ago did have you could you could get one with a sub bezel on it. Yes. They're extremely valuable. And that's what this is here. See, it's got that rotating bezel. They've also predicted a new two-tone Daytona. Okay. With a ceramic bezel. And I wanted to get a, a Milgauss like that too. And look at that. They brought back the Coke. 
You know, I I, I want to pull up I want to pull up the video. Someone has it on video. It's on a YouTube channel, but I dare not bring it up. No, we better not do that. And then no. also look at the Explorer with the red writing. Ah, subtle. It's very subtle there. What else have they got here? Let's have a look. Now, okay, if you look at the Rolex, pa the the report on That's the passion the of the Rolex. All right, look. The GMT. So they're predicting, they're predicting just the Coke and not the Pepsi. Now, what do you think about an, what do you think about an Explorer Two with a stationary ceramic diesel? Um, I'm not sure about that. Do you like that? So, uh, this is, I don't know. This is a stainless. This is a stainless Coke, right? Yes. Now, okay. have you also seen the mock-up of the white Explorer One, the Polar Explorer One? Uh, I'll just get that. Give me a minute. Mil oh, look, look at that Milgauss mil mil there. That's such sick. Look at that. It really just makes that Milgauss look so nice and vintage. It does. It does. I wanted to get one of those, and then I saw it listed for fifty thousand. I said, I guess not. Hang I on. will sell you. I got to find it. I will, Hang on, it's coming. I will sell you this one for forty-five thousand. Oh, there we go. God. Explorer. Uh, sorry, that, that's the Explorer Two, Clive. Look at that. Black ceramic bezel. Now come on. Now does not look awesome. Is that cool? Yeah. I'd be tempted. Yeah. That, I think that would put the Explorer 2 back on the map. Mm. And also see, okay, Mil and they're talking about a, uh, oh, um, another thing they're talking about is possibly bringing back and I, another watch, you know, well, channel or watch you want, uh, was talking about the, they came up with a moon phase complication for the Cellini. They're talking, one of the things he said is everyone's going homage or homo age. If you're, you know, from the south, and um, by says, the way, look at this Explorer up, too. Look at this, like the original one. Yes. What do you think? I've got a friend. I've got a friend that has a 1655. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Do we want to? Okay. Do we want to talk about that? Can we please talk about that? Sure. 1655. Yeah. So basically, he sent it up to, if I remember right. Uh, he got it back from the Ro uh, Rolex Service Center, and the authorized dealer said, you might want to consider looking at a new one because the RSC told us they're not going to service this one for much longer. Right? That's a, that's a favor to him. I wouldn't take it to an AD. Not a well, it's a favor to him, but, but Archie, do you remember that review where you said yes. – Yes. Triple down on, on polar, double or triple down on polar explorers. Yes, yes, I thought that'd be a great collection to have. Well, you know, it'd probably be a collection that no one else has, frankly, and that's that's. There's mm. nothing wrong with that. No, no, it's. Um, I think that'd be a good way to go. You know what I think would be a really good watch for that collection? What's that? You know what I'm about to say. No, but okay, but okay, but let's go back. Let's go back to that. So basically, but that watch is like seventies and eighties, right? Yes. And and the doctor is basically saying, well, they did him a favor because basically, but you know, so Rolex is more or less. Of course, they won't say shit officially, but they're going to quit supporting that watch, right? Well, so they say, but. Rolex always says this. They don't. They don't. They don't like the collector market, you know. But they don't like the point. Okay. But I wouldn't no, be no. sending a vintage Rolex to them anyhow because they're likely to change parts without your permission. Right. That's but, the reason but, I'm saying you're doing them a favor. Yeah, but but with vintage parts, there are parts out there. They used to provide parts. So, you know, like you said, so Uber Oki and all these little watchmiths everywhere, they have their own little cash that they hold on to of their of their Rolex parts. And sometimes they'll switch and flip back and forth. But at least there is there are collections back there, right? Yes. What about now now keep this in mind. 
keep this in mind, they're not releasing new parts. They're not giving new parts out to anybody. Period. Mm. So eventually you'll be hostage. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's worse than that. I think it's worse than that. Because if they... If they don't release the, if the third parties, if the independents don't have parts, then once Rolex decides whatever point to quit supporting the watch, you're just completely shit out of luck, aren't you? Well, that's what I meant. That you're being held hostage by Rolex, and it, they may just push you out there in the ocean and leave you marooned. Look, I, right. I would I would also argue that many of these models you're talking about, they would actually. Um, independence will make parts this thing isn't going to die okay a lot of the vintage like like even doc's rolex it's got a value movement in it hasn't it doc you're very Absolutely. expensive your daytona Vintage. sorry your your, your 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 Vintage. cosmograph i'm not talking about right now i'm talking about 20 years or 25 years from now so that's so when you're thinking about rolex is setting it up to what they're ultimately selling the world's most expensive disposable watches no, I wouldn't say that. You can always get these things fixed. That's not quite fair. The but... current ones, not the current well, ones, I... the old ones. They have parts no, for I... the old ones. No I one has... I think you, try getting parts, you try getting parts for a um, a bubble back. They, they they won't give you parts for that. They may not have parts for that. You know the bubble backs? But those, but those parts exist in the wild. For the new parts, there are no new parts. In They're the not wild. releasing them. Right. Period. So then there's going to be knockoff aftermarket replacement parts, probably. That's what yeah, I would say. No, I, I think realistically, the whole world has changed. Rolex itself, there they will, you know, you look at this. Can I just say this to you? You know, in the 1950s and 60s, right, the number of Rolexes in the world that Rolex had made in its entire life was like under a million, about a million, right? Now they're making no, no, a million no, 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 a year. No, no, no. No, uh, no, no. I take that back. No, my 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 gold bubble back, semi bubble back, is a fifty eight, and it's in the four hundred thousands. There you go. There you go. You see what I'm saying? So in the sixties, they were up to about a million, I think. Right? That's right. total right. worldwide production ever. Now they're producing over a million a year. Do you understand that concept? And it's not going to be to their advantage long term not to support their watches. No, no, no. They will support all the new stuff. There's no question of. I mean, you, look. Right. By the it's time you're going to worry about it, all the people watching this this podcast, including you, Doc, we're going to be in a pine box. Absolutely. So it's it's it's. Uh, I want to ask you something, Doc. You you got a serious and Clive. I want to ask both of you. You've got some serious vintage. Do you think you're being priced out to add to your collection? Prices are going so crazy. Um, <clears throat> well, no, no. well, actually, one of the things that went through my mind, I've been keeping up with like the Pepsis, and they're like going for eight or nine. And last year, I could have got one for six or sixty five hundred. And it's like, oh shit, shit, shit. But <clears throat> and the other, the other interesting, the other interesting phenomenon is that uh, you've mentioned it before, Paul, but it's very true that a two tone. Is significantly cheaper now than a stainless yes. in a Rolex. Yes. And so now the price, it seems like the gap is about $3,000, $4,000 if you're looking at a GMT or a sub and you're thinking, or, or even if you're looking at a Daytona, you can get a, you can get a Zenith Daytona two tone for 10 grand. But if you want it in stainless, it's going to cost you 20. Just out of interest, guys, I'll tell you a swap I was offered a few years ago. I was offered a modernish pre-ceramic two-tone bluesy right with, with gold in the clasp no holes case nice. i was offered a two-tone gmt with solid end links but a holes case that's about late 90s early 2000s okay and an amiga speedmaster men on the moon three-piece swap for my solid gold submariner now what's happened is probably you wouldn't include the Omega. And that was an 861 doc, a 1990 861 Omega. Now what would happen is 
if I wanted to do that swap, I would probably just get those two two tones. They are coming up in price stock, but solid gold yeah. has not. My solid gold sub, it, it unfortunately has not gone up. It sort of stayed the same. Does that make sense? Yes. Well, it makes sense to what you're saying is that the gold portion is bringing the watch down, if anything. Mm. Oh, no, no. I, th I think the solid, a solid gold appreciating less than a two-tone and a two-tone is appreciating less than a stainless. A full stainless is going skyrocketing up. A two-tone is going up, but not very much. Your full gold isn't really going up at all. Now, actually, now Cardinal Ving, even though I thought he's working till midnight, so Cardinal, you know, Ving, enjoying yourself while working is the same as stealing from the company. But one of the things he, he did point out, and I'm aware of this, is not the semi-bubble backs, but the bubble backs did, they were extremely hot in the late 90s. You know, you red hot, and then when the big watch craze hit, the bubble backs crashed. Yes. The bubble back burst. Huh? Yes. Well, the bubble backs were very, very hot. But the unfortunate thing now, the bubble back is, I, I would say, a good bubble back with not a redial, an original dial is still, that's what you want to get. But the bubble backs crash because they're far too small. The other watch that crashed is the famous Rolex Doctor's watch, the Prince. They, right. you don't seem to hear them mentioned. Have you heard, did, you, know, you know, the Rolex Prince, the Doctor's watch? Cellini did a reissue about 15 years ago, okay? But that particular model, the, the Doctor's Prince, had the sub... It's, it's, it looks like a very much like a reverso, a rectangular case piece. It had the sub-second at six. And um, I think they've gone... They've gone soft. They've gone soft, Doc. But sports, sports Rolex is where it's at. Datejust have, have really gone soft. Datejust is soft. Do you think Datejust is soft, Clive? You're a bit of a Datejust lover. I think even vintage Datejust is rather soft. Well, now vintage Datejust are soft because there's just so damn many of them. They'll all they well you can make that. They've always been soft. They'll probably always be soft because. But there's you can make the same soft. argument about the modern ones too. What? That was your argument about it being iconic, because there's so many of them. They're all over the place. Right. Correct. Well, and that's what people still think. Yeah, but that doesn't. Um, well, yeah, because everyone thinks about because everyone. I mean, everyone buys them. Everyone thinks about them. So I don't really. I don't necessarily see them as being iconic, and maybe not popular. They were more. They were more wanted in the '60s and '70s than a sports Rolex. You know that. Right. Absolutely. Because people and, are saying. Uh, Scuba, what's this scuba thing? Yes. And meanwhile, they're yeah. Meanwhile, the submariners were and the uh, the GMTs were actually unpopular. So, do you think? Okay. So, what do you, what do you think they're going to do? For, you think they're going to release a GMT? Okay. A Logan Smith, two two pounds. Um. Do you think that they're going to release a new GMT at? Diesel world. I think that I think they'll release the GMT when their sales drop and they need to reinvigorate their GMT. You do understand right. Rolex is not a normal business, but they are a. They went. They released an official trailer on Facebook. Okay, I'm going to look it up. But I'm but saying they're going to release. I still think that they follow the money to some extent. I mean, should, we would agree that it's bad sales to release it if, if their current GMT line is selling is selling out all the time. Okay, Why guys, let's let's watch <laughs> let's watch the video together, shall we? Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea, Clive. It's gonna puts me into a bit of it's gonna it's gonna hurt our ears. Oh, it's a Bezzer will. That's okay. Bezzer will's okay.
Uh, hmm. Unveiling, March 21st. Still sports case, you'll notice that. Very, very subtle. It's just the band. No, it's not. God damn it. Of course, I'm trying to do it on Facebook. I know, there we go. Facebook sucks. So at the, very, at the very end, there's a case there. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's a sports case, Clive. What? It's a sports case. Thank you. Wow. So I, I totally, I'm totally not taking credit for this. Someone else, someone else watched that. I'm not going to say who it is, but anyway. So, so because of that, you're thinking that they're introducing <laughs> a new sports watch, a new GMT, and therefore <laughs> it's a new GMT. And therefore, it's going to have a different bezel, a new bezel, or a reintroduced bezel. Yes. Well, it would make sense that they could take the bezel. That's, I mean, don't they have the? Don't they have a gold with 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 a bezel on it, a two tone bezel? Yeah, but that would it be a that would well possibly yeah, but they're show, not showing a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just keeping up looking at a couple of. Uh... I got a good friend, Doc, who's had a very. He's had some bad news. He had some blood tests done, right? And they said his liver's not too good. Is he an uh, older drinker? No. No. Well, he 30s. has, but he's cut that out. Early We're talking 30s. about the stifle, right? Yeah, we are. Damn you it. said he's been drinking for like 30, 30 years of drinking? No. That's, that's not, that doesn't sound uh, correct there. Usually the liver is. Very resilient. Yes. Yes. We have more liver than we really need to live. Yes. And so oftentimes people have no idea that their liver is only he, functioning. He, he, he said the, the blood test showed that my, his liver enzymes were higher. Okay, but they are not super high. Like They're just elevated. They're just elevated. Right. They still probably need to do additional testing to figure out exactly what's going on. And, Should he take uh, a holiday? I said to him, he needs to go on a holiday to Bangkok or Mexico. <laughs> so I can run away. Depending on the final diagnosis, that could be how the liver problem started. Oh, I see. Okay. I think the best thing is just to 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 try to relax. And let them figure out oh, what's happening. Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Uh, this one is from Logan Smith, 10 pounds. Archie, why do you hate ETA movement so much when it is used in so many movements in the past, including your beloved Tudor Black Bay, which you admit is maybe more collectible than the in house? Okay, now guys, would, let, me, let me preface this. Let me preface I, this for the Pontiff. Yeah. According to the Pontiff, there are two types of movements. In-house movements and out-house movements. Right. In-house movements and bowel movements. Look, i got to tell you the truth. I don't hate ETA movements per se. Okay? However, however, when, <laughs> when, when you're paying big money for a watch, right, it does hurt me that you can get the same movement in a much, much and cheaper. You know, it kind of hurts. I mean, what is a watch? There's a lot of design in the case. There's the dial. There are more than just the movement, but the movement is a big part. It's like the engine in a car. It's like these European cars that used to use General Motors engines. You know, they were, they were Italian design with GM sort of – it's not a true Italian classic. What's your opinion, Clive? What do you think of ETAs? Well, and like I said, I'm kind of... I think, In fact, the older think, ETAs I, 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 can be very valuable. It's, not, it's like I said, so... I think that's saying one is necessarily gen, 
genetically or generically uniformly better than the other ones being overly simplistic. There are some in-house movements that are shitter, kind of right. And there are some, there's like four different, there's like what, four different calibers of ETA movements. You've got some that just slap anything in there. And then you have other ones that really regulate the hell out of it. Actually, guys, I just need to have one minute break. I just got to give the kids some biscuits. By the way, Bear Clooney sent me some maple syrup biscuits. They are I gotta absolutely be I love I'll just be one minute. Fuckers, fuckers. I think we're in an echo chamber here. I hear Archie multiple places. I got to be completely honest with you. I love butt fuckers, butt fuckers. <laughs> Let's play bum chumps together. Oh, wait, here's so, a new one. Wait, wait. We oh. need things that are icons. Yes, I don't remember that one. Uh, um, I love the watch. <laughs> At the risk of channeling Obama, there's um, there's ETA and then there's ETA. So um, I think that goes along with you know different watches using ETA. There's different qualities of ETA to be used, and uh, and honestly, the watches that have ETA movements, if you're worried about getting those parts, you're much safer you know, with a movement that's an ETA. And depending upon the watch, the ETA is more collectible if they only ran it with an ETA for a couple of years before switching to in-house. Right. And really, we're talking about uh, availability of parts. And, you know, some people are making, some people make the argument that um, ETA is uniformly better because you can't have an in a brand cutting off parts like they do in-house brands movements but on the other hand swatch tried to cut off the supply of eta movements uh to other parties and were stopped in the swiss courts if they try if they try so again they may not be stopped the next time i wish i'd said that what oh i just said i wish i'd said that that's what i meant right and so yeah I'm, I think that's the way to go. Yeah. But I'm not an I'm not a movement nerd either though. So I have no problem. I have no problem if it's a if, if I think it's a really nice watch and it's got yeah. an ETA, I have no problem with that. I'd like to think I'm not a snob. Um no. And and like I said, there there's different calibers. Got that exactly. I have to had to give the kids these were bear clooney sent me these maple syrup biscuits he said there's no calories in them at all half a dozen of fucking shit i think i think he might have stretched the truth a little bit on that <laughs> i uh, maybe maybe he meant to say there's no calories from fat and even that i think is not likely true but anyway he said arch free food there's no calories in free food <coughs> let's play bum chops together <laughs> god i love that thing so you see but here here's what i was thinking of okay we're not going to talk about it but let's just talk about worst case scenario okay worst case scenario all we, okay, whoever came up with that soundboard, all you have to do is just add Polar Explorer, and then we've got like 95% of RT's watch review recommendations. There we go. It can be automated. Good point. Ooh. Well, you know, the interesting thing is it's got the old man on the moon on there, right? <laughs> and, and now it's like... And now it's he says maybe we maybe we need to think about going tutor <coughs> instead. Tutor? No. Fuck me, Dave. All right. Man on the moon? No, that's the G-rated one. I'm not 
Luxury, luxury, tell me what you fuckers think of that. I gotta be completely honest with you. I love butt fuckers, butt fuckers. Ah, uh, sigh. Hours of amusement for the simple minded. No, um, okay. Oh, the good doctor. Okay, let's see who this is from. Turbo B1. Let's just call him Turbo. Oh, the good doctor, you're such a snob. Any physician who files for foreclosure is a snob who should suckle on my Ed Brown or Wilson combat. Faggot, go hang cuck. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So I, I heard foreclosure. I don't understand how I'm a snob if I've had a foreclosure. That's the opposite. Now, I've just had a... Um, Someone's asked me here. Someone's asked me a question. Good friend of mine. Do you think this is a good deal? Okay. <clears throat> it's 5.5 five for a 1990 GMT Master 1. Everything mm. is original except the bezel has been replaced by Rolex. Go for it. It also yeah. comes with an original bezel because the seller put a damaged bezel on the watch so it could be replaced. Oh, what? What? hell yes. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Well, no. Wait, who's this from? What's their phone number? So, so um. Wow. I'll just work this yeah. out. <clears throat> That's a layup right there. That's easy. There's no hesitation. Well, so on that. It, it, it's a Rolex GMT, not a GMT two. Exactly. Uh, it's a sapphire crystal. This is a 1990s one, and uh, I'm just converting it to US dollars now. It is actually sorry. It's fifty eight hundred US. Yes. Yeah. It's got the original dial. It's got it's got it's got a service bezel, but the original bezel is somewhere to be had. Go for it. Okay. No worries. Go for it. I'm not even sure you can get a two tone GMT for that price. Mm. No. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. Like I said, my I got a couple of years ago. I got my GMT gold nipple dial. Uh, for 56 and I was thought I was happy to get for that price. That's a great you watch. Good. That was a good price. What? And I love the nipple. Yeah, well, the gold nipple dial has two of my favorite things in life. Gold and Rolex. <laughs> now, okay, guys. Now... It's got six of my favorite things. Okay. Archie, what are you eating? I'm not eating now. I, I, I just had that biscuit. I had that biscuit. Okay. I had that biscuit. Not eating anything now. So, um, what do we want to talk about Bessel World? Do we want to make any completely unfounded out of, out of our ass predictions or not? Well, I got to tell you this here. Um, I really do think Bessel World itself, Razzle Dazzle Bessel World, um, I, I am predicting <clears throat> I'd like to see a two-tone. I would like to see a two-tone Explorer 2. That's what I'd like to see. I wish what? they could do mm. that. I also they would like to see... They can't even sell, what the fuck are you talking about? They can't even sell the steel ones. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I'd like to see happen at Basil, Razzle, Dazzle, Basil World, I think this is going to be amazing. I think we're going to see sports watches with Jubilee bracelets. That's going to really rock the Apple cart. I think that's going to be a given. Clive, right. what you've showed me today, and I, I think, I honestly, i got to tell you, I, I think the Jubilee no, I looks take, fucking I can't, I can't take credit for it. I'm not going to take credit for it. But no, but you've, you've showed it to us. I think the Jubilee looks amazing. They've obviously Absolutely. watched that me and the Doc have been talking because Doc has got your Daytona on a Jubilee. And it's absolutely perfect. I think it's perfect. Most of my Rolex are on Jubilee. And it's just, I like the look and it's more comfortable. I got to tell you guys, I don't know about you. Clive was very <laughs> depressed last week. You were saying you're going to get out of watches. Has, has you removed those impure thoughts? I've been praying for you, Clive. Tell me. Um, I'm going to be a, try being a little bit more selective. Yeah, that's okay. Being selective, you're buying garbage before, but you said you wanted to stop. I'm just about done. That's what I believe the 
wording was. I'm just about done. Now, those stupid thoughts have gone, haven't they? Yeah, but now, yeah. The, the other thing about Razzle Dazzle Basil World is that uh, they're predicting maybe Rolex releasing another triple date under the Cellini line because they've already gone, they've, they're have they resurrecting the Cellini. They've re Cellini with the moon face. Therefore, they're also going, all the watch companies are going, Full on homage or retro watches, don't you think? Uh, don't you think a, tr a triple date would be uh, Rolex? Don't you think it'd be cool as hell or not? Ah, oh, triple dates are sexy with the moon phase, Clive. Optional moon phase, yes or no? Yeah, but <clears throat> how much of an investment would that be for Rolex? Being perfectly aware that Cellini is not the Cellini is not one of their favorite lines it's not it's not where people go when they're thinking they want to get a rolex it's not usually where the excitement is but the trip but the triple on the other hand the triple date moon faces that they've done before in the past have been so i mean they didn't make them very long i grant you it's part of it but there have been some of those sought after grail non daytona pieces that they've made and that could be they're gonna have to do something they're gonna have to do something innovative with something bold to bring something yeah, they're either going to have to uh, bring their A game to the Cellini, or they might as well just stop. Mm. Be a relatively so I simple. I wouldn't buy a Cellini. I don't know about you guys. I think the brand is terminal. What do you guys? What think? if it was? What if it was a? What if the Cellini was a triple date moon face? I'd prefer it in an oyster case, or a leather strap. Okay, five dollar. Wait, um, I'd probably pass. Five dollar super chat. How much to kick the doctor off for the rest of the day? Oh, I like that. We don't ever kick the doctor off. Can't be done. I like the doc. He's my friend. So, okay. how much is it to kick Clive off for the rest of the day? Uh, five hundred bucks. I, I want to say um, this though. Five hundred bucks. Say, I, I think a hundred bucks. Say, I want to say thank you for what you just said, but I also want to say that everything should have a price. If, if somebody wants to put up a large amount of money to kick me off, I won't be offended. We want 500 bucks. The doc is cool. I love the doc. The doc is what I got to be honest with you, Clive. I love you to death, but the doc is what keeps me coming back with the hope that the doctor will come on the show. The doc makes me happy more than money can change things and that i look forward to clive as well clive's chirpy's comments his stupid innuendos his tacky, <laughs> and tacky, my stupid ta tacky my stupid what tacky tacky attempts at comedy but i really do love coming on here to chat with clive i know no matter how depressing and bad my world really is clive's is worse let's play bum chunks together jesus christ <laughs> They've got some good record. Okay, okay, Clive, I'll give you that one. Clive is, I gotta tell you, I enjoy Clive. Clive is my friend, and the doc is my friend, and okay. uh, I gotta tell uh, you. Turbo, Turbo Turbo says $150 to 150 to kick the doctor off. No, Turbo, 150 to, No, 150 to kick Clive off. 150 to kick Clive off. Let's be rational here. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, let, let's just now that you guys have said this, let's um yeah, 150, either one can get booted off. How, yeah, long, how long am I booted off for 150? I just don't want to be sold short. No, how just, long it's just for this one show, just for today. Just for this one show. To, it's just for today. It's just for today. Okay. That, I, don't know, I don't know why they don't I, like the doc. The doc is so cool. I don't know why. Either. I like I'm a snob what? because I had a foreclosure. What's wrong no. with a foreclosure? It's, it's the opposite of keeping up with the Joneses. <laughs> yeah, but some, sometimes it's business reasons that do these things. Okay, guys. Well, case, Whoa, if you're going through a divorce, sometimes you use this to get the other party to act. Right. Okay, guys. Look, I want someone to hundred. I want someone to give a hundred dollars super chat right now. I swear to God, I will send Don Haynes an invitation. I'm going to uh, be yes, offended. 
if no one sends in the hundred to kick me off, I'll be offended. Uh, yeah. Okay. Turbo, that's 150 for Clive. I think the doctor is 250. You know, because like I said, doctors charge more than lawyers. So, yeah. It's okay. Give him a sales price. $150. He can kick me off. 150. There we go. And Bear, Bear Clooney thinks Doc is awesome. Yeah, Bear Clooney so cool. By the way, Bear Clooney, my kids love the biscuits. I just they just ate the last of the maple syrup biscuits. And I've shared the chocolates with them too. I, I think it's nice to share these beautiful gifts with my kids. I I it, it was really cool. It's really cool to have those gifts to share with the family. I like it. Makes up for the horns. Makes up actually, by the way, I'm seeing a doctor next week, okay? Plastic surgeon, right? No, I'm, I'm getting. I got to get a referral in my country. You got to get a referral from the GP, and then I'll get a referral to a specialist. If you right, right, right. But I mean, a referral, referral to a plastic surgeon. Just and the, if they send you to a dermatologist, tell them your doctor friend told you you needed a, a, a plastic surgeon. What's wrong with a dermatologist, doc? Tell me this. Because because it's on your face. You really want to make sure you don't have scars. So if it, if it I don't worry about the scars, I want it to be done properly. I don't want some. I don't want some. No, no, but that's the point. If it was on your back or if it was yeah. on your leg, <sighs> anybody could do it. If it's on your face, you want to have someone doing it that that will look at every meticulous aspect of it and make sure that, that when it's removed, no one can tell where it was. I want to be that's deformed, Doc. Okay. I want to be deformed. Guys, you are deformed already. Okay, Vladimir, $10. I like the doctor. I also like Clive and Don and the dog fister. I also like, all caps, the sucker horn. Who doesn't like the sucker horn? Absolutely. Um, actually, do you think you want to do a classic live stream and bring on Jono? We can bring on anyone. You're running the show. Bring them on. Send them off. I, I, I'm just the... Uh... Special no, guest. Yes, I am a. I'm like trying to train one. you up. I'm trying to train you up in case you know I can take holidays or other things that might oh, look. you know. Uh, look, all I'm I need, trying to train you up, Clivers. All I need is Polar Explorer on the soundboard. I'm there already. I mean, I'm there. That's it. I mean, we're. That's it. We're yeah. done. We're done. Well, in e begging. Can, can in I e ask you this? I was talking to a. I want to ask you this, guys. Do you uh, I, do you find these watches give you solace in times of need? Absolutely. Yes. Like, do you yes. do you get sustenance out of your beautiful watches? I mean, Doc, you must love that. Um, they you know that that cause you, it's not a Daytona, is it? It's a pre Daytona, well, isn't it, Doc? You, no, mine is actually you, Daytona. You really don't get sustenance. You really don't. Oh. Um. Super chat, one fifty. No, well, no, actually, one hundred dollars. I hate Don, Don the, Haynes the most. One hundred dollars, one hundred minutes. No Don Haynes. Don't make me file a chargeback. Ooh, okay. No Don Haynes. There we go. Sorry, Donny. Um. Yeah. He, he, I, I, I do like Donny Haynes, but he, he can be a little he, bit. Annoying, honey. Kind, of, kind, of, kind of like a new lady boy. He can rub people the wrong way. Mm. Wow. Amazing <laughs> stuff. Amazing stuff indeed. There you go. Thank you so it much. Makes, talking about that makes me think about uh, um, the difference between a vitamin and a hormone. Do you guys know the difference? No. What is the difference? You can't make a vitamin. I see. Nice. <laughs> I gets it, Clive. <laughs> okay. What's the lady okay. voice too? Uh, what is what is what is the um, what's the okay? The doctor has some humility, says Turbo. I respect that. Five dollars. Okay. Good. What's the difference between mono and herpes? What's the difference? Well, you get mono when you snatch a kiss. Oh, I see. Uh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I think I remember that from medical school. <laughs> That's the only reason to go. Um, get all those. Uh, 
Um, Tell me this, Doc. Um, you, did you have a better week? You, you were being grilled last week. Are you, you having a better week? Um, I didn't get grilled, so that was good. Um, I had I had more work than than I thought I was going to have, so um, I didn't have as much free time as I anticipated. But the weekend, at least, I get to relax a little. So I see. Uh, my workload goes up and down, and it's not predictable, and it's not within my total control. So it's it's, but it's okay. I have a job. Okay, Stephen Miller. What is the difference between herpes and true love? I didn't know. Herpes is forever. <laughs> okay, so, okay, Archie, let's go back to uh, Bezel World. Bezel World, yes, yes, yes. What do you think yes. about, have you seen the concept art for the Polar Explorer 1? Yes. What do you like? Yes. You like it? With the red, that's with the red writing on it. You're saying? Yes. Uh, but what if they just? What if they redid the black? I don't know if they would actually do that. <laughs> I don't know if they would do that. But I, I would love to see a. Um, the one that excites me most is the Milgauss with the rotating bezel, like a sub bezel. Absolutely. That would I be. Agree, hundred percent. That would be killer. The first time I saw that watch, the vintage version, I, I fell for it hard and I thought, oh, I want to have that. You know I had what no else idea I, they were Doc, you know what else I would really love to see? And it's not expensive. No date sub with 369 on the dial. Yes. You know, yes. they did that. They did that in the 5513s. You could get a 5513 with Explorer numerals on it. I wanted one of those, and then besides the crazy prices for them, most of them for sale are going to be fake. Yes. Right. So you're so you're spending fifty thousand dollars for what is probably a fake watch. Yes. Uh, but it, but it, but oh man, it's it's such a nice look. It's a very nice look. Hold on, hold on. And in a vintage um, watch, a 40 millimeter watch that's got the 369 turbo? on the dial. Turbo, how about a hundred another hundred dollars and Don will never come on again? Yes, we can do that. No, you can't do it that way. Trust me on this one, okay? Okay. So turbo, a hundred another well, actually another two hundred dollars and Don will never come on again. There was another person I did that to, by the way. He went on to have a very uh, yes. successful, successful YouTube career. channel. <laughs> it seems to be. It seems to make them suddenly turn super successful, and I need them, even though I've burnt them. It's the story of my life. <laughs> Archie speaks bogan ebonics. I don't know what that means, but it sounds funny. Yeah, what's bogan? Oh. It's like our rednecks. Bogans are rednecks in our country. Okay. One hundred dollars, you have a deal. Turbo, okay. Deal. Well, okay. Tur okay. Turbo, deal. That's great. By the way, you're you're welcome, Archie. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that help there. Yeah, Don's gone then. That means we're never going to have Don on again. Oh. And now you can get a nice pair of slacks for the thing that you were not supposed to talk about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did you see the video on the carpet beetles last week? Carpet. Be prepared to be anally raped. Did, did you not see the carpet beetle video? Oh, wait. Might have did, missed he send, that one. did he send it again or not? Oh, yeah. No, he hasn't sent it. No. Okay, Turbo. Uh, maybe there should be a countdown on the Don. Maybe that's the way it would work. A little no. clock running at the top of the screen. Well, you know, maybe. Or do you think we should just do it every time we do a live stream? Uh, I'll take the $100 now, Clivers. 
there may not be too many more shows to go. Okay. Eighteen horns and life to go. That's it. So, guys, I got to tell you this seriously. Um, tell me this, Doc. Your ETA Daytona. How do you feel about it? This is what I don't understand. People criticize ETA so much, but that's the valuable Rolexes. That's the ironic thing, isn't it? Well, not only that, my watchsmith said I should wear it and not worry about the movement. It, 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 it's not going to be a big problem. So, you know, because if you think about it, if you have an in-house movement, the first few years you get to cross your fingers that nothing's going to go wrong with it. Yes. But with mine, the movement's well-established and well-proven. It's a workhorse. I don't have to worry. So, so aren't you, do you like your... Oh. And it, and look and look at our Brightling. Look at the Brightling. Thank you so much for the Brightling, by the way. But look at the Brightling. I'm going to bet that my Brightling with the with the ETA and aluminum bezel is it's going to be the one that's going to be valuable down the line. Because so many more of them will have an in-house movement with a ceramic. Correct. Bezel on. Correct, I agree. Do you think Brightling will ever be that valuable, but no. No, not really. I have a, I have a vintage top time Breitling, mm. but even that, you know, the value has gone up a little, but it's pretty flat. I didn't get it yeah. to make money. But, no. But it's not going to go up. Not like not what, like a Rolex. Why is Breitling so soft? Can I ask you that? Because I think they're a great brand. Vintage Breitlings are amazing watches. Why, why did they I, never go the way of Rolex? I think oh, wait. The Bryce never had the name of a, of a Rolex and an Omega. Omega. I, it, maybe, it's, maybe it's a little bit more niche. Like maybe, you know, maybe you have to be into watches a little bit more to even know what a Breitling is. Yeah, I think they've become more commercial now, haven't they? True. That's oh, true. With the, they're advertising with sports, but I'm saying historically, not as many people knew, knew what Breitling was, and maybe that's affecting the value. Actually, I know someone with a vintage Breitling. Clive, you've got one. Oh, now that you mention it, yes, I do. What do you think? Do you think they? Uh, why haven't they really shot up like 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 other brands have? It's they've kind of omegaed. They have churned out so many variations. It's, I mean, they've churned, churned, churned. Let's just change the little things about it and just ship out truckloads of them. That's what. That's why I think the problem is. Mm. Like I mean, my, that's, that's my the, friend has vintage. Well, he was my friend until we had a bit of an argument. He had vintage long jeans Lindberghs, right? And. They they are really amazing watches for what they are. Now Jenny Axter actually had something uh, pointed out something about uh, Breitlings. Her 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 response about her answer to your question about Breitlings was, and I quote, because they suck. Oh okay. I love Jenny. <laughs> you can't hate the Navi timer, but can you? Navitimer's too classic. Nope. Yeah, you can't you can't hate on that. I mean, Pam yeah. has collapsed. Yep. What do you think of JJLC? Is very soft at the moment. I mean, I who, that, that that is that is a really cool brand. Jaguar LaCultura is a wonderful. Clyde's got one too. You you got a Reverso. Why are they so what? soft? I also have a LaCultura from the fifties. They're not as so desirable because the quality wasn't there. They weren't like was, a Jager look. As, as far as Pam goes, but I don't like Pam. Pam, 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 Pam. <laughs> okay, we we played that joke out. What's wrong with Panerai? Why is Panerai crashed? Is Why are they crashed? Why is what? Why is Panerai not so desirable now? Why? Why are I they think, not? I think, I think, 
I think PAMs take take they take oversize to an extreme, and I, I think the the pendulum is swinging the other way away from the PAM. I think they also when they release that fucking thirty meter dive watch, it's ridiculous. I. Well, you know, the interesting thing is, is that, you know, I think I mentioned once before that I've that I've done the diving thing. I've, the farthest I've ever gone, I think, is something like two hundred feet. Or yeah, but you got to understand, Doc. A thirty meter dive watch means you don't put it anywhere near water. No, no, no. But 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 thirty meters is a hundred feet, right? Yeah, but you can't take it anywhere near water. That means you don't take it into the pool. I see what you're saying. It's, it's not only Rolex. rated at 30 it's, meters. It's not Rolex 100 meters. We're talking. Yes. It, it's. And there's, you're also saying there's no safety factor. So if it's only rated at that at that depth, you're taking your chances going to that depth. I agree. I agree completely. But what I was going to say is that, you know, for most people getting getting it wet, you're not going to go that deep. Yeah, you know, like I'm never, I'm never gonna go more than hundred meters ever in my life. No, well, uh, you have to be a professional. E even a hundred meters is quite, quite a long way down. Most people die yeah, twenty meters. Twenty meters is is what most people do max. You know that, don't you? And the farthest, the farthest I've gone is is a couple hundred feet. <coughs> so, so you know. Uh, going for me, going more than 300 feet, it's never going to happen. Well, it's dangerous, never, you ever. know, that your risk increase when you start doing that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> so for most, for most people, even if they're diving, I think one of those is fine. But I agree that in terms of the rating, you want to have a safety factor built in from an engineering perspective. And if you're if you take if you take a hundred, hundred foot watch to 100 feet, you're taking your chances. So I agree with what you're saying. It's it's not a good idea. Here's a interesting fact. Did you know my ex-wife had actually done over ten thousand dives? <coughs> you had a you had an ex-wife that was doing dives. No, she was a dive instructor. How many times did you dive on your ex-wife? Uh, no, no, I'm being serious here. This is uh, well. If you want to dive on her a little bit more often, I'm just saying. Maybe we'd still be together, but. Yeah. Anyhow. Well, maybe you still have that original house, but yeah. I've got a lease back deal, Clive. That's good enough for me. There are some there are some watch enthusiasts that would love to have a wife that actually dives. Yes. So it's interesting that you found one. Yes. When you when you were with her, you were in the watches at that point in time, right? You were, you were yes. the, the when I met her, I, I, I acquired a five, five, one, three. Also, it's one of the other mistakes of my life. Uh, okay. Arrow fence, man, a 30 meter panorama is like a brightling. You can't take on an airplane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's good. Clivers, tell me this: What's going to happen in your collection? What are you looking at doing? Have you sold anything? What do you? What, what's your aim? Well, I guess I'm still looking at a Movado triple date with a moon mm -hmm. face. Um, uh, still looking, next week, what? by the way, guys, I am featuring on my Archie Luxury channel Australia's greatest luxury collection his sp steel sports genre it's about well, sports luxury genre 25 classic iconic sports watches modern this is, is the, modern is that the guy that you have the that among other things the sea dweller collection no this is another guy really because mm. i thought that guy was yeah no that guy's got his collection would be five times the size wow no, this guy here is, uh, he's got 25 modernish wristwatches. He's got things like a, a Monaco Calibre 11, Tudor Monte Carlo, Tudor Bronzo, Tudor Black Bay Heritage. He's got Breitling Navitimer, Breitling Super Ocean Heritage. He's got Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. He's got a Breguet Type 20. He's got an IWC yes. engineer. 
I'll be reviewing this super collection. This is a super collection. I think he's found eternity. He just bought the last piece, and I said, I think you've hit it. You've now got eternal life. He bought a Reverso, the ultimate sports dress watch. He got a duo, Clive. Oh, wow. You don't have a, you don't have a duo, do you? No, no, no. I got the Reverso Grand Date. Uh. He's got a duo, which is just grand grand duo. So I just slept with over 7,000 women. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Which Rolex did he have? Oh, his Rolex collection. Okay, he's yeah. got, I'll tell you what he's got. In Rolex, he's got a Yachtmaster 2. He has got a Air King anniversary dial. You know, the Air King, special Air King, the new mm -hmm. one, the red, the green and the gold writing. Yes. He's got a two-tone okay, bluesy. That's, that's that's not particularly special. Anyone can get okay, that. Okay, he's got a two-tone bluesy ceramic. He's got three Daytonas: a black Daytona, mm -hmm. black dial, steel bezel. Uh, he's got a white dial steel. He's got a two-tone Daytona with blue dial. Mm -hmm. He's got a Explorer two forty-two mil. He's got a deep sea. He's got a James Cameron. He's got a 43 Ooh. mil sea dweller. He's got a Kermit. He's got oh my uh, God. a Batman. He's got. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. He's, got... He's very deep in watches. Yeah. Yeah. What sort of car do you think someone like that would drive? I want you to I want you to pick this. McLaren. Uh, you just, just just pick 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 cars are incredibly expensive in Australia. But you tell me what Nissan you Altima. No, I'm kidding. No, you just, 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 just have one stab at it. See if we can get it. Lamborghini. Almost, Doc. Almost. Which way did I miss? Ferrari? It has Ferrari parts in it. Because Ferrari is too cliche for this guy. No, no, he's, it, it has got Ferrari parts in the car. Huh. Not a Stratos. No way. No, 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 no. Maserati. Oh, wow. Maserati. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Maserati. Super chat. Archie, thoughts on the Seiko Prospect SPB051? Any Seiko. I'm sorry. You know the rules, Clive. This is a Seiko, Seiko SPB1. <laughs> what was it again? SP. What was the number, Clive? Truth. What was SPB051. the reference? SPB051. He was going to say the numbers don't matter. Nice. They're just awful covenant watches. Me. It's well, very I gotta tell you the truth, just looking at that model there. Horrid. Fuck me, dead. It's very much a classic. I, I've got the review that. right here. I've got the review right here. Okay. Literally all I need is Polar Explorer, maybe a quick reference to Breguet. It, yeah, and yeah, I'm there. It's a cool watch, isn't it? What do you think? It looks cool. Half a dozen is pieces one? of fucking shit. Is it, is it the one with the Pepsi bezel? No, it's got a black, 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 black. Okay. Black bezel. dollars. It's just very much classic. Uh, they're about 900. Oh, probably 1,000, okay. 1,200 whoa, whoa, whoa. US. Super chat, super chat, $100. Don Haynes, we will always love you. Yes, homo. Okay, Turbo, you're saying that's hundred dollars to ban Don forever. There's only been another person who was banned forever from my channel. Forever is a long time. Good things will happen to this to Don now. You know that it's it's actually the kiss of of success. The last person I banned forever. Fuck me, dead. The last person <laughs> I banned forever. Um. Is kind of he, he turned out to have a very successful career as a as a watch commentator commentator on YouTube. 
Okay, five dollars. Another five dollars. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Five dollars. Permanently banned. Don't make me file a charge back. Permanently banned. That's correct. Yes, Don is banned forever. There's only one other person who's been banned forever, but that's fine. I will. This is two people banned forever. How much did the Next other person? Get, how much did the other person have to uh, get paid? I mean, how much did the they? The how much did they pay you to ban the other person forever? That was five hundred, but I'm desperate. These are desperate times now, Clive. I've got a few sort of pressing Fucking matters. Fucking hell! Nice, Clive. A so, bird in the hand is two in the bush. Remember that saying, okay? Right. All I all I can say is I feel like the Matrix. I just dodged a bullet here. Could have been me being banned permanently. I don't know. We wouldn't have allowed it to go on, Doc. We would have pulled out. Okay, how much to ban the doctor forever? Is Turbo asked to know. Okay. Turbo, you need to ask. I, I think it's five hundred to ban Clyde forever. It was uh, already one hundred and fifty for the rest no, of the show, and I. No, we, we only Doc and Clive cannot be banned forever because it'll have to have three zeros on the end. Okay, because oh, uh, ten dollar, these people are good people. Ten dollar pyrotechnic. Clive, you picked out my chat comment a week ago when I asked if anyone knew how to super chat an iPhone. You spoke, answered, I should download YouTube Gaming. Took me a while to figure out, but here I am. Well, thank you. Uh, th uh, thank you. Uh, oh, Pio Poo-Technic? poo Chicknick. Anyway, horse guy, thank you. So anyway, if you're listening to this on an iPad or an iPhone or another iDevice, and uh, if you uh, download YouTube Gaming, that will give you the ability to... Uh, give super chats on your mobile device. Wow, thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Now, Clive, I actually had a, a date with the toilet last couple of days ago. Ooh, that's a bad nickname for whoever that is. A date with nice. the toilet. <laughs> I think I prefer the nickname garbage fire to toilet. No, I had to. I, I was vomiting from drinking too much, Doc. That bourbon, Ooh. you know, have you found different alcohols can t put you into a real foul mood or not really? Um, my understanding is most people don't tolerate mixing different types of alcohol. So if you're just drinking bourbon, you should be okay. Bourbon, scotch, beer? and beer. Well, okay, oh, wait, wait, wait. that's mixing different types. Okay, beer, um, liquor, um, beer, then beer, liquor. Scotch is okay, no, look, look, no, there's a rhyme. Uh, beer, then liquor, never sicker. Liquor, then beer, never fear. Bicker, uh, liquor, beer, then scotch. Lady boys! I, I thought you were just going to say liquor. Lady voice, there you go. Yeah. Well, technically, lady voice. Well, yeah. It's a, we, I got to be a, honest with you. Any any Seiko that's not a grand Seiko is just. It, look, I, I quite like just very quickly the uh, SPB051. I quite like the look of it. However, let's be honest, it's still a Seiko. There is a Seiko that I like the look of too. Um, it's a reissue. And it's four thousand dollars. Wow. Uh, okay, ten dollars from Fire Horse Guy. Uh, good to hear you stay, Doc. Fellas, please help with my next wrist 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 wristwatch check. Rose Sky Dweller, chocolate dial, chocolate Ooh. strap, or rose gold AP Royal Oak Chrono Blue dial blue strap. Oh, you have to go for the AP any day of the week. And and, and the AP has the blue dial? Yes. Bluey gray blue dial, I think he means. Oh, that's sweet. Blue if a blue, yeah, blue, blue dial. Blue strap. Yeah. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> on the Seiko, the Seiko, the Seiko, they had a reissue of a of of a of a sixty two MAS for four thousand dollars. I know it's a Seiko, but it's a pretty nice looking watch. Yes. Just saying, if you if you're into vintage at all, it's a pretty nice looking watch. 
<clears throat> I'm not sure it's worth 4,000, but I looked at it and thought about it until I saw the price. Now, guys, look, I know a few people are complaining about the quality of my webcam, about my, uh, about my video, my webcam video. Look, if you super chat Archie $500, he will tell me to get a better camera. <laughs> I thought you were going to say if you super chat him $500, he will give you $5 for a new camera. Please. <laughs> so, guys, tell me this. What are you looking at buying next, Clive? Uh, like I said, the Movado Triple Day is what I'm looking at next. Nice little vintage piece. Kind of matches the wire triple. Triple date with a moon face. What size is that? 36. 36. Okay, 36. Just, just, 36. Just barely large enough. And what are you looking yeah. at, Doc? Tell me what you're looking at. You know, I don't know anymore. Um, I mean, I'm still thinking I want to get the second generation Daytona with the Zenith movement, but... I'm also recognizing that I'm open to suggestion when certain people show me different watches and I hadn't thought about them, but I go, hmm, maybe I should get one of Would those. Would you ever get a Reverso? Reverso is too close to a dress watch and I'm just not a dress watch guy. I don't know but why I'm not. Reverso Sports, it's a, it was for polo I know, players. it's a polo watch. How can we get much more sporty than that british officers elite the establishment this is you all written over many of them have had Please? many of them have had foreclosures too doc you know what i admit is that uh, i thought about i thought about going to a, an authorized dealer and seeing if they had if they had one if they happen to have one i can put it on and look at it and yeah what's that because it may be one of those things that once i'm wearing it i say wow this is great Okay. I've, never had, I've never had a rectangular watch. Jenny Astor, Jenny Astor thinks the reverse, so it's cool. Very cool. How much? To, and, uh, okay. And, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Turbo, how much to unban Don Haynes and have him have equal face time to Clyde? I've split personalities and filed for foreclosure. Or maybe a psycho. <laughs> Well, okay, um, here, Turbo. Let's be honest. I kind of told Don, I kind of told Don about what happened, and he did not take it very well. Archie is going to have to really kiss his ass to bring him back on the show. So I'd say five hundred dollars. And more than normal. Yeah. <laughs> if we have to do it, we have to do it. Pipers need to be paid. You know that. You know, Clive, and I think five hundred dollars is a lot. And Piper's is the euphemism for oh never mind. Anyway, think, go ahead. Clive, I think five hundred dollars is an awful lot of money, but if you go to his multiple personalities and ask each one for a hundred, I think it might work. That's true. That's a good point. Thank you. So guys, I wanted to ask you this. Um so, Doc, you got nothing on the horizon at the moment, right? Oh, I don't like right? the way that sounds. There's no watches. You're looking nothing. You're lusting after. I see. Watch wise, I have see, nothing on the horizon. I, if I were oh. you, Doc, I tell you honestly, I'd get myself a um, Zenith Daytona in steel. That's what I think you need. Even if it's even if it's twenty thousand or so, no, when I can get that. it, you, you can get them for what twelve? Okay. How much is a Zenith? Turbo. Turbo says, someone someone donate $500 to bring Don back. I miss Don. I love him. I need him. Yes, homo. Okay, I look. Okay, look. Look, look, look. I look, Turbo. Turbo, I look we'll, take, we'll take it easy on you, okay? What we can do is if you donate $100 to unban Don, then the, he will gracelessly accept that. Yes. I think $100 to unban Don is fine. This was Don't a life ban, Clive. It was a life ban, so undoing a life ban should be more expensive. But we need I think the money. $100 is quite a deal, but... Uh, we need the yeah, money. Yeah, I think it is, too. I've got some expensive bills to pay. 
So, so aren't you, what, you what, an honest question? Let me let me ask you an honest question. Yeah. So Archie, what are you looking at next? Oh, besides, uh, besides twelve months. Okay, we're looking at the. Uh, I'm look. I've got a Pam on order. I got a Pam on order, right? Right, right. Um, I don't know if I should tell you this. You might get upset with me. Go ahead. No, you'll get upset. No, nah, I won't. I promise I won't get upset. He has a Langy on order too. Okay. No, no, no. You get upset with me because I've been dabbling a bit, okay? Okay. Turbo asks if I after I end ban Don, can I reban him right away for one hundred dollars? Um Of course. Yeah. Of course. Anything. Well actually actually we might have to have you we might have to have you come back and, and reban Don because you've already look, what you're doing right now. You've already banned Don for $100. Yes. For By the like way, I'm more than happy to, to take up the role of financial domination if anyone has needs for that to be <laughs> controlled. Okay. Oh, Actually, I'm, I'll tell you what I'm the buying way, what there, guys, Clive. What do you guys think about the haircut, by the way? It looks cool. Man, I'm just, I wish I had hair like that. Fuck, you know how much pubicide I'd need to take to get that shit? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, not maybe bad. Gray. It may be gray, but it looks real. I'm a little offended you didn't comment on my haircut, but okay. We've never seen you, Doc. <laughs> oh, good we've point. Never, we've good point. never seen you. I have no idea what you look like. Okay. I got to tell okay. you, I'm looking at I'm looking at buying a solid gold Cartier. Oh my God. Benfile. Benfile. Benoit. Benoit. It's a lady's watch. It's not even for me. It's for. You're I was gonna gonna... Say, it sounds like a lady's watch already. It's it's called a Cartier Benoit. Okay. Oh, Charles Piano World. Char Charlie Herman, thanks, man. Um, yeah, the pen and the jacket, Schmicko. What happened to your Cartier, Clive? I got it. So I was thinking about joining you, Clive. I've got one here for the for the any ladies who come over, they can now got a choice. Because I got rid of that AP. I told you I sold the two tone AP. Right. And all I've got now is an Amiga Constellation ladies and a ladies Rolex. So I was thinking about putting something more blingy in the collection, which they could wear when they come over. Which will be? The Cartier Benoit 18K. Do you want to see what this thing possibly looks like or you're not interested? Yeah, well, let's look at it. I'll, I'll bring one up. Just, just hang on there, okay? Now, how's that going to work? Are they going to get it for conjugal visits and, and like check it out from the warden and then give it back to the warden? Or... This is a long term plan, Clive. This is not just now. This is. I'm, you're going to. I haven't. I haven't. You're going to sneak it a file in the cake. Here we go, Clivers. This is what it's. I'm thinking about buying. Not for me. This is for ladies who come over and see me. Jenny Exter takes issue. Oh no! Oh wow! Okay, that's that's the, that's the twisted. That's the twisted. That's the twisted one, this right? This is the one. This is the. This is what it would look like. This one here. The Isn't blue, that the one that's kind of blue hands and the blue sapphire? What do you think? I like it. Looks it. like the Sandra Dolly version. No, there's, there's the the other one is called a crash. That's called a crash, by the way, where the CEO of Cartier died in a car crash, and his watch got broken. And that's called the Cartier crash. Okay, that's more like Picasso. But this is that's more like that's more like Salvador Dali. This is the one I was looking at buying, guys. What do you think? Yes, no, maybe. Um, I'm just sharing some of my sexuality think, with I you, think you and you guys. Sex. I think you should get a unisex size so it can be worn by lady, boy, I mean, or men. Ladies or boys. You know who that's I a like. setup against you, Clive, and I'm not going to take it. But that's definitely a setup against you. You know who had one of these? <laughs> ooh, ooh, you know Charlie Chaplin. He gave his wife one of these, along with herpes. I, <laughs> which is forever. Charlie like Chaplin. Diamonds. Charlie Chaplin is a comic legend, Clive. With herpes. Did he have? That's how do you know he? 
I see. Well, anyhow, I'm just telling you, what do you that's, think of this one? That's, yes, no? that's why he wore the mustache to cover at the cold source. People don't know that. What do you think, guys? Yes, no, maybe? What about if you just got Shit, a, I didn't uh, share the screen properly. Sorry, I'll just bring that up for the viewers there. So it's called a Cartier, Cartier Banois. And you know why it's called a Banois? Actually, here's a picture of one. This was my picture. That's one I had before. <coughs> this was the mini Banois. It's a Benoit. I've heard of Benoit before. And, and, and those, that, I used to own those diamonds when I was married to that physician. You were married to a physician? Yes. Was that the Ukrainian? No. Okay, was that one too? Never mind. I just, no, I don't want to go into it. No, but anyhow, what I'm trying to say is, guys. Um, now, Jenny Cardi says, yeah. Jenny says, for the purpose of turning a woman on, definitely a Cartier. Well, what does he think of the Cartier Banois? It's called. This is. I don't you know. You know what Banois stands for in French? It's French for bathtub. Benoit? Bathtub. How why much you, cheaper? Why don't you send Jenny a link and ask her directly? Jenny, do you want to come on the show? Sorry. How much cheaper is that than the tank? It's actually more expensive. Oh, get a tank! Women love. I had a Women tank. Love I had a tank. I sold it. No, yeah. but they're gonna they're gonna know all about Jackie Kennedy. Yeah, yep. but this is kind they're of cooler. This is, I think that I think that this is what I like, Doc. It's not what they want. It's what I want. I want them to wear. Ah, uh, I thought you were getting it for them. No, no, no. They only get to wear it when they're here. When they leave the house, you, they, they got to give it back. Well, then I'm a bit of an idiot. Hashtag. Hashtag Archie, hashtag Archie Date Watch. Uh, no offense, but but doesn't the resale value drop on those? I'm buying it secondhand. I'm not buying new. How much money do you think I have, for God's sake, Doc? Jesus no, no, I Christ. understand that, but, but wouldn't you be safer getting a tank, which will maintain its value? Uh, and possibly go up, and possibly go up. A tank is more the classic Cartier that women really like. Yeah. Safer bet, I'm thinking. What I'm trying to say to you, Doc, is if you're reading between the lines, is I found one cheap. Okay. Uh, I think you already bought it. I think you already bought it. I think you already bought it. Not quite, Doc. Not quite. I found one cheap. Can we just? That's what I'm trying to say. I found one. Very cheap. Well, then I like cheap. I like deals. Do you understand? I like deals. Okay, Doc. Jenny, Jenny well, says get a tank, and Jenny's cool. Jenny said get a tank. Did she really? Yes. That's what she said. Yes. Shit. Kind of scary, isn't it? Kind of okay. scary. Sounds like she's saying sort of what I said. Get oh. a tank. Okay, no worries, guys. But 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 it might be different in Australia. Maybe no, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe that okay. one, we can go backwards on it. You haven't completely bought it, right? I haven't paid for it, more to the point. Oh uh, yeah, okay. And you, you talked to Clive about what ownership rules and that there last it, it, apparently even if i put a deposit down i don't have any commitment or rights to it no it's just that when you try to you change the terms afterwards it negates it puts it up for grabs it must have okay. been before the hand spit in the in the secret shake yeah mm. there we go clivers you tell me what the answer is I think you should. I think you shouldn't have fucked around the air king. Oh, it doesn't um, matter. I didn't have any money at the time. Do you understand? You think I'm super rich, right? Which is easier to flip? Um, well, a, a how do I or, Huh? Which would be easier to flip, though, a Cartier or or a ladies Rolex? Ladies Rolex. That's what I was thinking. But 
I'm not doing this for profit. You understand? It's the thing of no, beauty. No. You're not doing it for no, profit for the next three to six weeks. But as one of the herp, as one of as one of the super, super chats already mentioned, you know, only herpes is forever. So, yeah. in case in case you decide to flip it, just in case you decide to flip it, buy the tank. It might, it, yeah, it might be easier. The tank would be easier to flip, and then I think a lady's Rolex would be even easier than that. Maybe I won't buy anything. Okay. Or buy something for yourself. Actually, yeah, I've got the Pam on order, Doc. Actually, you should have the horns gold plated. <laughs> I have yeah. to admit, I'm not a fan of Pam. I'm not a fan of Pam. But I'm are you? Gonna... But are you a fan of gold of gold plated Minotaur horns? Mm. And then sell the horns. You also are, you're yeah. also going to have the, you're also going to have the procedure recorded and and put it on Patreon, right? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Unicorn horns are gold plated, aren't they? Yeah. <coughs> so, well, Archie couldn't have, Archie couldn't afford steel sports stunners. <laughs> mm. I want to go back to that. I want to go back to that Daytona thing. Yes. You think it's you think it's worth spending almost double your money on a Zenith stainless Daytona versus a two tone Daytona? That's also, you know, a Zenith two tone, which is. I disagree. Zenith. I mean, I disagree. Just, just I hang think... on a minute. Come on, let's let's, let's uh, go. Let's go and have a look. Just hang on one minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna share the screen. Just just, guys, work with me, not against me. Work with me, not against no, me. Just, I'm gonna I bring did, up I Chrono just... twenty four now. We're gonna bring up Chrono twenty four, and I want to show you, Doc. I think you don't understand what I'm talking about. Okay, watch this. Watch this now. Here we go. We're on Chrono. We're going to look at low to high. Okay. There's a lot of, okay. What's the cheapest Daytona available today? What is the cheapest Daytona? Look at this. Here we go. We've got a two tone for nine four. All right. Right. That can't it? possibly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, whoa, whoa. Fifty dollars super chat. Oh shit. Turbo. I love you, darling. Thank you for showing me equal love. Thank you for showing me loving me equally. I'm going to bust inside of you, Raw, because I love you more than anything. My unicorn. <laughs> God damn it, he's a minotaur. He's a fucking minotaur. How many times do I have to explain that? <laughs> unicorn <laughs> unicorn means one horn. One horn. Never mind. Unlike yeah. Don Haynes, when I say she's a 20 and a model is the truth. I think okay. it was my discussion with gold plating that busted his nut. Now, Jenny has a PAM 183. Now, look at this, Doc. Nine and a half thousand gets us a two tone Zenith. Okay, Doc? Right? Uh, yes, a two tone, two tone you can get for right around 10 grand. Exactly. Okay, so, so what's a steel one? Let's have a look. What is this first steel one going to cost us? What's a steel one going to cost? Let's keep looking. Oh, if you put in hey. 16520, pull them all up. No, no, we just want to have a look. We're just gonna we're gonna play this game here, okay? We're just checking, checking, checking. We're oh, gonna... hey, Doc, did I ever tell you I do impressions? Uh, okay. Okay. I want to see. I, I want to see if you can guess who this impression is of. Okay. Okay. He's doing an impression of Don. I bet. I don't know. That woman in the back. Hmm. <laughs> oh, here we go, Doc. Like we found one. We found one here. <laughs> we found one, Doc. Look at this. Twelve nine nine five. Look at this. Here's one. Is that a Zenith though? That's a thirteen thousand dollar Daytona. Let's have a look. But actually, the, no, it's not. It's a double one six five two zero. This has got the yes. Rolex movement. Yes, yes. It's thirteen thousand. Yes. That's not ridiculous, is it? Thirteen thousand? No, but I like the dial on the on the Zenith. 
I like the dial on the Zenith. I don't know why, but I well, do. And then Doc, biggest well, can't be choosers. Oh, actually, the bezel's a bit. Look at this. He's had a little bit of a scuff on here too. Look at this, Doc. Oh, that's all right. That just means it's had a life experience. Not yes. a problem. Not a problem. Okay. I'm in the um, village watch. Thirteen grand. What do you reckon, Doc? Is is that dial a little bit Patrizzi as well? Does it have something going on with the with the sub dials there? Are they slightly uh, slightly patinaed, or is it just the? Uh, no, I think it's just the angle. Let's have a look here. So look, sixteen five two zero, right? Yes. They're not cheap, Doc. You know this. That's what I said. Okay, the cheap. Holy shit, sixteen thousand fucker room. They're almost twenty grand. That's what I said. Fuck. You can get a, you can get a two tone Zenith movement Daytona for ten grand, mm. but if you want a stainless, you're looking at twenty. Go and get the two tone, Doc. Go yeah. and do it. Do it. Do it. I think I think we've just. I I, I don't see anything wrong with the two tone. Go and do I it. I could have got one for Christmas before last. I could have got one for seventy eight. Box and papers. I want to kick myself. A two tone, you mean, or a stand up? Yes, two tone. Two tone. Two tone. Box and papers. Wow. Doc, go and buy it. I, I reckon that's, that's still fast. ten grand for one. Doc is not impossible, is it? No, it's just that I look at them and I say, but the stainless actually looks nicer than the two tone when it's a Daytona. Yeah, but Doc, you're gonna you're gonna double the cost. You're gonna pay double just because you think it looks nicer. That's the problem. I, it, it looks nicer, but I don't know if it's double it the double price. The nicer. price nicer. Okay. I don't think it's double the price nicer. That's the, and that's why I haven't pulled the trigger on my hand. No, no, Doc. Did you guess my did you guess my interpret uh, my impression? That that was sort of uh, you were miming and channeling. The Archie luxury experience. I think that's who you were doing there, and it was perfect. Thank you. Yes, I appreciate that. No, I didn't come back. Uh, except eating for, a, I didn't except that I think you. I didn't come back eating a pizza, so it's not a perfect impression. Mm. You also came back wearing pants. Oh. So okay. Sorry. So there's that. So there's that then. I, by the way, guys, you know, if you noticed, I haven't been buying drinks at the moment today, guys, because I had a very bad alcohol experience a few days ago. And you do know that that's because you were mixing different different alcohols from what so I've never read any. To make what Archie is about. Super chat generously to make Archie drink more alcohol. No, no, I, I think that's, best if I just have an alcohol free. Chat. You know the rules. They send the money and you have to take the drinks. Drink, drink, drink. And Clive, I don't really want to eat a pizza today either, okay? I think if you ate a pizza with no cheese, you'd feel better. I've just been really ill lately. So, Doc, I think you'd feel better. This, why won't you pull the trigger on a two tone Daytona? That's the bargain. Because in my mind, in my mind and in my heart, I was going to get a stainless. I was going to get a stainless. What's wrong with I the... I only stumbled uh, upon the two-tone by accident. What's wrong with, what's wrong <laughs> with getting a Rolex movement one? Okay, $5 for Archie to drink a beer. <laughs> Make him puke. Make him no, puke. I'm, uh, Make I, him I don't know about that. Wait, no, you better not be you better not be peeking for free, motherfucker. Come on. Make him I don't him. really like to drink beer. I've been had a very, very bad experience the other day. Wait. No, someone some no. They have they no no one's paid you yet. Oh. I thought you said five dollars to drink a beer. No, I'm telling them. I'm telling the people. Oh. We'll put oh. we'll put it back in the fridge. We're not gonna drink that. All right. Jesus Christ! All I right. don't do shit. For, I don't even want a beer. No, no, I wasn't. A, no, I, I did. I, thought, I say super. Ch I didn't say super chat. I was telling. Come on, guys! Five dollars to make him drink a beer. Make him puke. Make him puke. So, no guys, one wants to see, 
No one okay. wants to see Archie no get sick, it's really? It's okay. It's okay. We put the beer, we put the lid back on, Clive. It's okay. Maybe, maybe in a couple of days. Yeah. Maybe so, guys, tell me this. Um, I wanted to ask you, um, Doc, just what he's trying to ask is essentially, what's up, Doc? Yeah, that's all, folks. Would a Daytona make you happy? The real question for me is, would a modern Daytona make me any happier than a vintage Daytona? That's the question I ask no. myself. No. No. I like the, way I like the look with the crown guards. Sometimes I like the look. Yep. Well, I understand that certainly. And 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 and, so, and I recognize also a modern Daytona is a little more blingy, a little shinier, a little more blingy. Is that good or bad? It can be good. You know, uh, depends on the circumstance and whether you want to have it be a little more flashy. You know, so and and the dial on the Zenith, just the way the markers are on the Zenith for whatever reason speaks to me more loudly than the modern Daytona. The modern Daytona, they look almost like they're trying to be circular. Whereas on the Zenith movement, they weren't going for circular at all. They were they were looking at the first generation and saying, okay. why don't we do something like drink, that? Drink, drink, super chat, drink. Jamie Y, hair of the dog. Okay, this is Open super that chat. Beer. Super beer. chat, I said super chat. Okay. So now, guys, this, this is, no, this this is very I'm important. Talking. Whatever you drink, stick with that. Unless someone super chats you more money. Actually, it, no, tastes, guys? Very, it tastes very good, actually, Clive. I've got to tell you, I'm actually starting to feel better. Now, guys, <laughs> if you want Archie to eat a raw egg, that's $5. <laughs> Clive, we've got to watch this here. i got to be sensible, you know. A raw egg for a hangover. Let's see if we can organize that pizza thing, Clive. We might need to get a. I don't know if I really feel like pizza. We'll just... well, okay, Rolex, uh, real quick, if I can discuss something. Number one, Rolex Kings isn't a bit too early for a beer in, in Oz? No, because Oz doesn't have daylight savings time. So it's actually later than you think. It's 11 30, Clive. Okay, yeah, that's fine, isn't it? Um, You're supposed to wait till twelve, aren't you? Sure. Oh, but within the rounding error, eleven thirty is twelve. I got to say, Doc, how many decent watches oh. do you have there? I have a good dozen decent watches. Uh, what you would call decent watches. Herman Ingram, $1.99. Don't eat, you'll get sleepy. So, guys, Good idea. super chat Archie for to eat and get sleepy, and then we'll make him stay up. <laughs> so, guys, I got to tell you this. <clears throat> Actually, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you're supposed to drink in the morning and then recover in the evening, right? Because I think well, it's only too early to drink in the northern hemisphere. Are there two time zones in Australia? Yeah, well, Sydney has got daylight saving. Awesome. There's actually, there's also Perth has got different time zone as well. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. It's 1230 in Sydney, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> Suck a hole. Thank you. Thanks for the assist. What's really nice is that I'm kind of used to paying super chat, so everyone else will start doing it. They'll start doing suck a horn all caps. Like, oh, shit. Okay, there we go. Thanks for the assist, guys. Uh, Doc? Twenty dollars, five dollars super chat. 
Art, Doc, give Arts 20 so he can review your wrist eaches. I think he's saying wrist watches. The funny thing is that uh, um, I just need to take pictures of the darn things. And don't use a flash, Doc. And I don't want high-res <laughs> pictures, low-res <laughs> pictures. I already have high res pictures with no flash. I need to just, I need to oh, sit down and convert the pictures over so that you have them and, uh, and then send them in for you. You know, in my country, these Daytonas, the ceramic Daytonas are going for ridiculous money. How bad is it in America? I think it's pretty bad from what I've seen listed. What do, we, what do you think, Clive, out there in Oklahoma? Okay, sorry, what was the question again? How bad is the overpricing on the new Daytonas, the ceramic Daytona? How is, yeah, how easy can you get your hands on a on a ceramic Daytona? Um, it'd be easier to find. It'd be easier to find a unicorn dropping. Okay. How did it go with that dealer who you reneged on? What did they say? <laughs> Hey, hey, let's not get racist. <laughs> You're still in there, good uh, Um, No, it basically, no. Uh, basically, um, you said I understand. It's like it's Rolex's policy. It's not mine. And I'd probably feel the same way if I was buying something like that, being t dictated to like that. Of course, he, he does want to burn a bridge anyway. And he's like, yeah, it's no problem. I'll just smell it off New York. I see. If, I, if I if I wanted if I wanted to get on the list to get a Daytona, that would have been the wrong store anyway. I wouldn't that wouldn't have been da downtown is not the one with all the high inventory and the high turnovers. That's actually that's actually um okay, John Conrad, you could not have been more you cannot be more, more wrong, dude. Um no, because actually, if, if I really wanted to get on the list for Daytona, the place to do it would be the big store at the mall, not the store down there. Yeah. Do, do you know much about these inverted six Daytonas? The what? The inverted six Daytona. The Zenith Movement Daytona. Would be yeah, it's the, uh, it's the early... And the thing is, with the Zenith Daytonas, there are like six dial variations. And that one that I could have got Christmas for last? Yeah. Dial one. I see. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 You, didn't, you didn't know. It's okay. You didn't know. It's okay. It's, it's okay. No, well, no. I actually blew my load on a president. I didn't blew my load from the on the president, and it's just like I could not do it. I can't believe these things are going for $70,000. What things? What are you looking at now? This is Daytona with the inverted Zenith Movement Daytona steel with an inverted six. Oh hell yes! That's crazy money. I thought I saw one for a hundred thousand, but it may have had something special about it beyond. The yeah, inverted. it was owned by Jesus himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, that 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 one I had, I think that was dial one. I think that was the inverted six. Holy! I don't know. Cow. Is a two-tone inverted six worth as much as the the steel inverted six? As much, no. Uh, but it's still worth a lot more. Yeah. Any inverted six is worth more than a standard dial. Now, Bugsy Malone actually has a good point. Now, Bugsy Malone is also with us along. Doctor, Doctor, are you on Facebook or not? No, he hates Facebook. Okay. On principle, I avoid the Facebook, even though they're watching us all anyway. Well, Buxing Malone says if you like two tone and you don't and don't have to have newer ones, you're laughing. I like the no. two tone. Don't get me wrong. I have a GMT two tone that I love. It's 1969 two tone. I love that watch, and I've got a Submariner two tone nipple. Love that one too. It's a black dial. Is it, they, do they have a blue dial nipple? I don't think they do, do they? As a two-tone nipple? Yeah. I've seen it. 
1603 blue dial. I've seen it. It was in Italy. Mm -hmm. it, it, the dial wasn't perfect, um, but it was a it was a. You got a black nipple, haven't you? You got a black nipple, sub, haven't you? Hey, hey, a black hey. nipple. Hey, Clive says that's a personal question. <laughs> Um, no, you mean a gold nipple dial? No, no, he's got I a have, black nipple. He's got a black dial, black nipple dial. No, I have a, I have a black dial, gold nipple. Yeah, they don't have gold. <laughs> they don't have black nipples. I kind of like black nipples. Oh yeah, black nipples can be very nice. Now I want to ask no. you this: What the fuck's going on with these prices on watches, man? This is just crazy shit. I and is it a bubble? That's the real question. I gotta is make it, it a bubble? I gotta, I gotta, can, can I make a total confession, guys? You love gay men. I think I was an idiot not to have one brand per watch. The only watch that's gone up in my collection is my Rolex. Help me, Doc! Help me! I gotta say, uh, I'm very Rolex heavy in terms of my watches because I don't know what I'm doing. And I like staying, as Clive says, in the in the kiddie pool because it's fun um no you don't drown in the kiddie pool you might swallow a little water yeah well, i haven't you know, swallowed you know who has swallowed who's that uh oh he's gonna point in the direction of not us <laughs> but but on the other and, hand see, and the thing is, he's also, everyone he's says on, he's also bought some bad watches too you know the thing is, is that every all the dealers say to you, if you stay with Rolex, you're too boring. It's boring, boring, boring. I was about to say you can't just go through life wearing nothing but Rolex. It's it's it, and it's, That's it's why the reason I, I like. It's it's part of the reason why I have no problem wearing that Breitling. That some would say it's a shitter. But you know what? It's a nice looking watch. It's not a it's not a Rolex. I gotta tell you the truth. If you look at my watches, I've fucking lost money on a lot of them. Okay, the Paddock's okay, it's sort of held its own. But you know what paddocks have gone crazy? It's the Aquanaut and the fucking Nautilus. The more dressy ones haven't gone anywhere. The reverso, fuck me, Dad. You can't give those away at the moment. Reversos are very soft. My IWC, nobody fucking wants that. The Omega, Joma Sharp, Joma Sharp has fucking pumped and dumped the Omega Speedmaster man on the fucking moon. The IWC, sorry, the 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 Breitling, Scheitling, Scheitling on top. I love that watch, by the way, Clyde. That looks sexy, sexy, Clyde. Uh, the Breitling. It's I got to be honest. Manual with wind, you. manual wind, eight sixty one. I know. I owned. I own two actually, Clive. Um, the Breitlings. Well, that's too modern to go anywhere. The Bregster, the Bregster, let's be completely frank and honest with you. It ain't an investment grade watch. My Rolex Explorer 2, yes, it's gone through the roof. It's the only watch that's really exploded. And you know what? I was an idiot. I should have bought more Rolexes. I had a chance, but I was an idiot. I was an idiot. I fucked up with this stupid Rules only one watch per brand, like a good Catholic. Fuck me dead. What the fuck was I thinking? This beer is really kicking in, Clive. I tell you what, I haven't drunken for a while. It's just gone ballistic in my brain. I can hear my brain exploding. Fuck. Oh, Clivers. The only interesting thing is we can't. We you're 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 getting you're getting you're getting quiet on us, and we can't hear you. I got to tell you, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with my life. My life is a mess. It's a disaster. I started buying oh, other no. brands. Five dollar super chat. Drinking and have drink another beer. Rabbi Kahain was right. Herman Ingram. Mm. Drink another beer. I might have. I might. I'm just going to stay to beer. No, no, no other alcohols are going to be served <laughs> here today. Unless you super chat oh, extra. Man. You have to super chat extra for Archie to go from beer to no, liquor. No, I can't. Clive, I, I was really, I had an affair with the toilet, okay? I put my tongue where places you did don't you film know. It? Did you tongues. film it? You, did you film it? Clive, I can I can show you the vomit in the garden. The garden still stinks. My, I thought that, I really did think that was one of your girl's nicknames. And I just was like, wow. No, 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 bad. that was the garden. I was vomiting in the garden and in the toilet. You understand? I put my tongue into places in that toilet that, you shouldn't be putting tongues. Yeah. Oh, it was awful. I was so ill. I was so ill. 
bile. I had yellow bile coming out, Doc. What is oh, that? God, mean? Yeah, I've been there. I that means yellow you're throwing bile. up. Yellow. yellow bile. You know, yellow, real um, yellowy bile. Now look at you sons of bitches. Um, I need I'm a pizza. Send me 50 me. bucks and I'll buy a fucking pizza. I'm hungry, you sons of bitches. I need a pizza, Clive. Get me a pizza. Clive, I need a pizza. I do notice a pattern. Every time you drink beer, you crave pizza. What's wrong with that? Give me a pizza, Clive. I want a pepperoni and I want a garlic bread. Quick, 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 Clive. Ooh, it's that's perfectly sick. natural. It's just that's a pattern. Sick. I've noticed a pattern. Sexy is sin. Please, can you give me a pizza, Clive? Pizza! I want a fucking pizza! <laughs> Quick! All right. Clive is, I want a fucking pizza! Where is my pizza? Dude, you made like $400 on this, super, on this live stream. I think you can afford your own damn pizza. I mean, seriously. I'd contribute, but I'd, I don't want to contribute to debauchery. It's not... I don't put weight on if it's free, Clive. That's the problem. That's what my doctor said. I don't put weight on if it's free. There's no calories in free food. You know that? The, the trouble is you're getting that advice from a free doctor. I don't know if he's a real oh. doctor, Clive. Was well, he at least a veterinarian? I'm not quite sure about that. I got a lot God. of problems in my life. My life isn't very good at... I got, a, I got, I got Oh, shit. Just one minute. One minute. And there we go. Yep. Uh, one four two seven zero. Explore one. That's nice. It really and, is. Um, and it's only thirty six millimeter. It really. You pull it off. It, it doesn't look small. And uh, probably would look nice in a suit, as well. So you can take it to court. And look. I think it's I think that's a nice watch. Yeah. I do too. And for 36, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, well, 3600. Yeah. Yeah. 20 bucks. Okay, Flokim says 20 bucks says all the super chats are going towards another, another crappy watch. Okay, Flokim, we will answer that question if you super chat us 20 bucks. <laughs> oh, LLD's also got the same. He's also got the Tiny Explorer Club. Now, um, yeah, as, by the way, this, was, this one's also Tritium. So, uh, you know, yeah. not yet, but I'm hoping. Well, hopefully you don't have to wait 20 years for it to start looking pretty. Yeah, well, I think it already looks pretty, even prettier. But, you know, okay, actually, guys, I'm back. I'm ordering a pizza now, okay? You want to see me eat a pizza or you don't? Yes, no. Quick, 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 yes. quick comments. Yes, we do. Will that help my ratings? Because I've got no fucking ratings at all. Well, 203, 203 people are watching, and it's a Friday night. And we've been on for like two and a half, two and a th two and two and three quarters hours. I mean, that ain't bad. That's I'm actually, you, you know, something. You're the only friends I have, Clive. I love you and the doc. I can't believe you want to be associated with buffoons like me and Clive. That's an honor. I mean, Clive. Sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. You meant, you, meant you meant Clive and I. That's what he meant. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, I had a beer. I, had, I still got residual alcohol from the other nope. shit I was drinking. You know that. And you, and you owe another beer. Someone paid you another five bucks for another I, beer. I'm gonna start drinking. I'm just gonna order some pizzas. Let me just order my pizzas. I'm ordering pizzas because the kids want a look, pizza too. They look, said to me look, look, they look, want a pizza. Look. Order, drink the beer, and order then order the pizza. It will be more amusing for us. I do have to admit, I I actually found myself enjoying this more than happy hour, so I actually skipped happy hour. Fuck! So this, this is my Have happy you had hour. nurses at happy hour? Nurses with nipples? Um, I did have someone that was providing me, you know, providing me with information via text messaging, and there were no hotties out there, so okay. that did help. Oh, okay, okay. 
No, aren't you? There were no hotties. Look at this. Oh. He's got a wingman. He's got a wingman at the party. No, 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 no. Actually, actually, no. Robert Padilla is my wingman. You know why? Why? Wait, I'll show you. He's actually on this. He's actually no. <laughs> By the way, I got another request that's come through. Just hang on. I'm getting this fucking pizza. How many fuck? I don't want to donate to the Children of the World charity. You know this? How many fucking pages do they have to have on the pizza page? All I want to do is order a fucking pizza. I actually got this in the mail from he tracked me down. Who's Robert uh, Pedia. It's from it's from it's Shit. from Buffalo It's from Buffalo Wild Wings. So literally, he has my wingman when you think about it. Yeah, he actually works for Buffalo <laughs> Wild Wings. You're joking. That's pretty neat, actually. We're like, oh, I actually have a wingman. <laughs> He's his buffalo wingman. Well, yeah, that's the best kind of wingman, okay, I just bud. ordered the pizza. I've got the pizza, okay? I've got a pizza coming, okay? So if anyone wants to pay for it, now would be a good time. Fuck, how many garlic breads did I order? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I pressed the wrong button, Clive. <coughs> what am I supposed to do with five garlic breads? Um... Feed them to the kids. You would the next three. Okay. Um, Fuck! Okay. Two dollar. You would think you'd ask questions if they see a dozen orders for garlic bread. That's uh, you would think they'd say no. That's Fuck! Right. Oh well, thank God. God damn it, it's Pluto again. Fuck, he's been super chatting. <laughs> okay, two dollar super chat from Jamie Y. Back page, Doc. Don't forget rubbers. <laughs> yes. I slept with over seven thousand women. <laughs> Rubbers, not just for your bracelet. Right. I'll be back in one minute. <laughs> I'm here to tell you the awful fucking truth. I gotta be completely honest with you. I love butt fuckers, butt fuckers. I never get tired of that. Seriously. And if you, if you do it enough, it's like he never left. Exactly. Fuck me, Dan. <laughs> Fuckers. Uh, oh. There's more. There's a couple of. Here. We need Fuck me, things that are I can't. Fuck fuckers. Half a dozen pieces of fucking shit in hell. I'm not man on the moon. I'm not too lucky. 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 I'm not too <laughs> it's like the Star Trek episode you never <laughs> <laughs> I'm Archie Luxury, tell me what you fuckers think of that. Those were the good like the end of Mud's Women. Like the end of Mud's Women, Star Trek. Uh, by the way, you know something? I've had a donation come in, right? I gotta buy I gotta buy a gift for our good friend the sucker horn. What do you buy the man who has everything? He drinks some shit that I never heard of before. Lemon. Is he in the comments there? Lemon something. Lemon yeah, Limoncello. Limoncello. Yeah, what the fuck is Lemoncello? I never heard of this garbage. What is that? I don't know. They got this shit called Google. You might want to check it out. Limoncello. It's a liqueur. Yes. Okay. You know, actually, my mother liked lemon stuff. I wonder if that's like an. I wonder, like, it's generational. I'll get the expensive one. We don't want the cheap one. Well, how will you know if? How will you know it's from you if you don't give them the cheap one? Ah. <laughs> Watches are all about snobbery. They're all about snobbery and bullshit stories. I'm going to ring that guy now. I'm going to ring the fucker horn and ask him which one he wants, okay? No, you just... It's not a gift if you ask him which one he wants. Yeah. He can't hear me. He can't hear me. He can't hear me. No. 
Hey, we're organizing some booze for you today, okay? What? You want the lemon cello, right? Okay, so that's still just hang on. Lemon cello. What side that they sell that is 375 mils. <laughs> Get a second horn and air purifier. <laughs> yeah. What do you want? Well, I'm just trying to work it out. What brand do you like? What brand do you like? Is 500 which brand? Which lemon cello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got the real thin, skinny bottle, isn't it? Lemon curry. Okay, well, so we'll get one of those. Nice. And we still got some money left. Man on the moon. Some beers? Two can play at that game. Oh, oh wait, okay. wait. Are we going to Archie off? Are we going to Archie off? What's that? Oh, we're going to Archie off. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm, going to my, I'm going to my bookmarks right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm searching Archie Luxury right now. I'll just get two 375s, Jono. Fuckers. Sorry? Cello, Limoncello. That's the one. Is that the one you drink? We probably should stop. <laughs> yeah, we probably should stop that. Actually, my big concern is if the Archie Luxury soundboard achieves achieves self consciousness. Yeah. Think ah, about that. there may be there may be AI in it that we're not aware of. Could be. There might just be, you just don't know. Half a dozen pieces of fucking shit. Sorry. I couldn't help right. myself. Prepared to be anally raped. It's like he knew, you know? It's definitely like he knew. <laughs> or someone knew. <laughs> I gotta be completely honest with you. I love butt fuckers, butt fuckers. <sighs> you know, <laughs> there probably are people who don't know about this soundboard. Well, I, I post oh, links to it every once in a while in the comments. Yeah, I just had a call from my dad. That's all. Oh, what do you say? Can you <laughs> put him on? We do, we yeah. put him on a live stream. No, he's a. Okay. Clive wants to know if he's willing to do a show. Uh, oh yeah, it, it's a long story. Okay, we we we've had a bit of a rift. Okay, but I will super chat your dad to do a live stream. Come on, no, no, he, we, we're not even on. We're still we've got a few family problems I'm working on. Okay, live. Well, I'm going to be so serious for a moment. I'm going to be serious for a moment. It's important for you to, to fix that. Okay. 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 Robert PDF five dollar super chat live. If you ever saw on floor two, please let me know. First, okay, Robert and I appreciate it, but man, I mean, I kind of like this one. I mean, I really like this one. And you know why I like this one? You're welcome. Yeah, you're right. Actually, Archie, do you know why I love this one? Because of me! No. 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 Because it was a bargain? No. Because, I don't know why, Clive, you tell me. Patina! Now, yeah, actually, that was that's pretty much it. Yeah, the, it is yellower the, the, than yeah, yellower than the pot of teeth. But do people know that it's kind of a little bit altered? It's not well, altered. It's, uh, actually, it kind of it has service. It had service hands on it, and the doc suggested 
I had the um, I had the How jeweler. Why did anyone know that? Because the hands are white, and the indices are yellow. Until the doc said, "Why don't you have the hands painted to match the dial?" Oh, I wouldn't be tend to be fucking around with this stuff, doc. There are certain things you shouldn't voodoo. Certain voodoo things you shouldn't do. I disagree because they're service hands. Once they're service hands, they're not original hands. You're fucked. And you can do whatever you want. Okay. And that's the reason yeah. he got such a hot price on it, because the hands had been swapped. If the hands weren't swapped, he probably would never have gotten the watch. Uh, you reckon? Well, that's, that's actually called a painted lady. <laughs> My theory is that if, if, if the patina had been matching and it was the original hands, original dial, patina there like that, it would have sold right away to some other person for a lot more money and yeah. never made it to Clive. I don't think it's that bad a deal. It was a great deal because the hands had been swapped out. It was service hands. That's why it was a great deal. So what? That's what I'm saying. I said, so what? Grab it and have the hands painted to match. Who's going to care? They're service hands anyway. Okay. Fair point. Fair point. Fair point. Yep. Fair point. Actually. Fair point. Fair point. Just being logical. Yep. Yep. I understand. And, and Clive, 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 Clive. Yes. Clive. Yes. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> but I'd also like to, I'd also like to give my sincere thanks to Robert Padilla, my wingman, and also uh, Charlie Herman, uh, my I guess my piano teacher. So, guys, awesome, thank you. What hey, aren't you doing you know? Buffalo Wild Wings in Australia? Uh, no, no, no. We're not really big on wings. Oh. Except for KFC, you have KFC in Australia. Yeah, we don't have delivery, but you got to pick it up. That's where you get your exercise. I see. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I don't think you did comedy. Mm. Uh, uh, do they have Fuddruckers in Australia? No, no, we don't. We don't. We don't. The first time someone told me about that, I thought they were joking. Yep. With a name like Club Records, it must be good. You would think so, no, wouldn't you? No, there's actually a there's actually one um and this the name of this place, I think it's a chain, is Emerson Biggins. I see. <laughs> I wanted to, I still want to go there. Uh, are big breasts back in style like smaller watches? Christopher Shea, big big boobies were never out of style. Ever. Never. Ever. You know, they they do have a name for guys who like big boobies. Uh, what's that? Normal. Heterosexuals. Heter heterosexuals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, it's either jumbo or oversized, but yeah, they're, yeah. They just changed the name from generation to generation, but the theme stays the same. Yes. B dubs. <laughs> Fudruck. No, none is saying Fudruckers is legit. Uh, I've actually been to a Fudruckers. So I know it's legit. I just thought they were joking when they said the name. Mm. Yeah. Because I'm trying to think: is a gazoo like a kazoo, or is it different? Or is that the is that what was the great gazoo from? Kazoo. That's from the Flintstones, my friend. You're. I think you're right. Yes. <laughs> Jamie Y. Ex-wives that remarry, simply the best. Yes, they are. <laughs> because they, they leave you the hell alone. Ah, so cool. Once, was... they re once they remarry, you don't have to pay alimony anymore. That's correct. 
Okay, are we uh, we want to stay on or are you want to, I guess don't we have to wait we have to stay on and wait for watch Archie eat the pizza. You know, there's just something gleefully about there's something gleeful about it when he eats a pizza. Did you ever drink that I other beer? Was, I saw him drinking some beer, yeah. Okay. I, I thought understand. that he used to I thought he'd quit the show and start another show where he's actually eating the I can't believe this. This fucking drink that Suckerhorn wants, the sons of bitches don't have, you can't do pickup. You got to fucking get it delivered. I mean, how fucking, how fucking difficult can this be? I'm trying to send some booze to the Suckerhorn and the sons of bitches, you've got to fucking, I might just get him some scotch instead. You know that? In the US, it's the opposite. Usually you can pick it up, but they will not deliver it. It's just crazy. You know that? It's just fucking crazy. This is crazy sons of bitches. That's what it is. Now, doctor, do you ever uh, do you ever do homeopathy or anything like that? Or you practice that very much? Hello. That sounds like a question to me or to Archie. No, to you. I said doc, um, not to <laughs> the uh, homeopathy truly is, um, uh, at least in terms of the official, uh, that's that's part of the uh, OD program rather than the MD program. Okay. Um, but but uh, unofficially, I'm very much into alternative medicine. In fact, that's why I was mentioning 420 in one of the other shows. It's it's an alternative medication. That has a lot of application. So nice, 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 nice. Was that actually a super chat? No, it was not. Okay. I didn't think anybody would do that. I play a little every once in a while I play a little game and I'll say, okay, random words, guys. He, since he's got the and so people will say random words and I try to get them into a conversation, see if he notices or not. It's something I do just to keep me occupied during these, during these things. It is amazing how quiet it becomes. No kidding, you've noticed that too. <laughs> Look what I can do! Look what I can do! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Great. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Four twenty is medication. It's my nightly entertainment. <laughs> Okay, now, big band, one man. Sure, I, I think you're talking about a sharpened toothbrush. I think you're making reference to like a jail cell sh shank. We're trying to keep the prison and jail and trial references down. Uh, full cell digital. Um, I've got the Pam around here somewhere, or it might be in the it might be in the safety deposit box. Smoking. Do you really need to have your Pam in the safe deposit box? <laughs> no. I mean, don't they know they can't steal the PAM unless they can find your box papers and, and receipt? Don't they know Pretty that? Pretty much. <laughs> You're right. I probably need to keep the box paper receipts in the safety deposit box. <laughs> no, okay, weird science. No, that's not his house in England. That's his mother's house that she uses as a bed and breakfast or something like that. It's, that's my understanding. Is that somebody talking about AVG? Yes, yes it is. I thought that was not allowed. I thought we couldn't talk about AVG on this channel. We're not supposed to be talking about AVG on the channel, but no, 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 no. <laughs> AVG <laughs> has illustrious family breeding and by sins. No, his dad was a freaking pizza waiter. Depends on your definition of illustrious. Uh, well, I guess that's true. Um, J Jamie, why, Clive? No, I can't really do a watch. I can't do a state of collection. It would take too much time. Sorry. I mean, uh, that sounds like a humble brag, but it is literally the truth. Uh, Clive, is 30, Clive is 30 deep in watches at least. Maybe 40. You know, I'd like to count them, but that's time I could be spending buying watches. Exactly. PVC is a better abbreviation. 
Nice. <laughs> I like PVC. I do. AVG kind of says it all, but PVC is nice. AGV, more like STD. Well, okay. Now, I'm going to take some heat for saying this. But, it, you know, I've had like, I've, I've got like the Shield TV on YouTube. And a lot of times it'll just get a bug up its ass and just switch for, you know, I'm on the GIMP cycle in the morning doing my 30 minutes completing my green ring on the Apple Watch. And it'll switch, it'll just jump to another watch channel. And it's a couple of times it's jumped to his. And he did some stuff on vintage that I thought was actually pretty damn decent. I just wonder who he stole the content from. Well, at least he's putting it out there. At least he cares enough to get to go to go to something, go to different, uh, go to something different. And you, and you also know where I got the uh, the Rolex video from, right? You got it from AVG, really? No, 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 no. The other unmentionable. Oh. The, I, okay, Herman Ingram, dollar ninety nine STD. No, yeah, I wonder what the hell he's. Is. SD, I, STD, I like. I wonder. I like I wonder, STD. Yeah. yeah. I like us. Well, we shouldn't say that too often, too loudly. No. <laughs> now, um, I don't think. Oh, Uli, by the way, man, seriously, where, where, I, yeah, I'm subscribed to your channel, Uli. Where's the video? Where's the content? Um. But when he when he comes up with a video, it's quality. Oh yeah, everyone, God. Please subscribe to Uli's channel. Jesus Christ, you're not you are doing yourself a disservice if you don't have Uli on there. He doesn't he doesn't put stuff up, he doesn't put filler vids up there every day like other people that I will not mention. I'll cross post. So I'm getting off the point. Anyway, subscribe to Uli's channel. Yeah, when he posts something, it's like it's like Christmas time. Literally, it's like, you know, click you know, usually just click on it immediately and grinning ear, ear to ear. I mean, yeah. you know, when unless, you, unless you do not want to bust a gut, unless you do not want to just fall over in laughter, you probably want to subscribe yeah. to his channel. Ooey, I O O I. He's actually on this thread. A lot of times, a lot of times, he'll post stuff, and I'll have to tell Archie to fit it on his channel. Oh wait, here we go. Here's pizza. Pizza's or, no, coming that was, soon. Not, not oh, that was the squeaky. Oh, that was the squeaky chair. Hey, Archie, give us a chair squeak real quick. Oh, that sounds like something else. <laughs> that springs. Oh, I tell you what, guys, it's been a hard week for me. I gotta okay. tell you, Doc. Uri, Uri, yeah. You should uh, so five dollars super chat. Sorry. Uri, you should make a video about the Passion of the Dawn, the Dawn's betrayal. Five dollars super chat from Jamie Watt. You guys think that pre-owned prices will drop after Basel? No, I think no, they'll go up. Definitely not. But the crazy thing I is... I think the only place for pre pre-owned to go is up. That's the only place for it to go. I think vintage. I think I think the same thing is happening to vintage as we speak. However, I do wonder... I, do you know that, do you know that uh, classic muscle car prices are going down? Is that right? And the reason is because the people who are driving the prices up are dying. And millennials are not into muscle cars. Like you mean like Corvettes? Like, like 1969 Barracudas and stuff like that. The, the, the oh. classic super-priced cars like that. Trans Ams so, are still, me, it's still in, but... Well, they've gone down a little bit in price. A friend, a, I, my neighbor... A friend of a neighbor bought a 1956 Thunderbird, mm. so a two-door, I mean, a two-seating Thunderbird. He bought it for $20,000. It used to be you couldn't get one for thir less than 30 or 40. Wow. And the one, the one he got was in nice condition. Look, it no, had okay, a Rolex, job and everything else. Let me, let me point out a mistake here on the boards. Okay, Rolex Kings, no, no, no. Archie likes them. No, we're talking about trans ams. Trans ams. Cars. Tra cars, cars. 
Pontiac trans. Oh, the reason I brought it up is a question. First with Archie. And it, is it possible that the same thing could happen with mechanical watches? That the bubble could burst and millennials just aren't in? Of course! It's all over Red Rover. It's gone pear-shaped. You betcha got them damn ass. In 50 years' time, these things might be worth 20 bucks, 100 but Nobody even wants the fucking things. Because that's incredible as a concept. I mean, I mean, the 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 uh, the Paul Newman's own Paul Newman Daytona sold for fifteen million, or sixteen, or whatever it was. Yes. And yet, the possibility exists that a hundred years from now, it's like dirt. Or like pocket watches. Well, they're probably saying Paul who? Exactly. They'll be saying Paul who? Paul Pluta. Paul Pluta. They'll be saying. Yeah. They'll be saying Paul who? And 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 what is that thing that uh, uh, that Alexi thing that that uh, that Clyde has in the background that Alexa, knows who Paul Pluto who is? is? Paul Pluto. Paul Pluto is an Australian rail advocate and YouTuber known as Archie Luxury. Wow, it's pretty cool. That's the pretty Paul cool. Newman one will be the Paul Newman one will be gone because no one asks hey, who just, Paul Newman just, is. Just ask that. Hey Alexa, who is Paul Newman? See to see what happens. Alexa, who is Paul Newman? Paul Leonard Newman was an American actor, voice actor, film director, producer, race car driver, indie car owner, entrepreneur. Okay, it's enough. We heard enough. Okay, he's it's more like famous than me. Okay, he's two pound super than chat. Me. Two pound super <laughs> chat by CP. Non Rolex predictions by for Basil. Paddock will have more dial changes, dial colors. Omega will have more special editions. Panerai will have more special limited editions. Zenith will come out with something even more gaudy. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Um, because you know, there's two schools there. There's the S I H H, and there's Basil. That for different companies go to the different ones. You know that, don't you? Yeah. You know, Rudy is invited to both. Yeah. Actually, he rang me this morning. He's a very he's a nice guy. Rudy's a nice guy. What are you saying? Uh, no, we're just having a bit of a chat. He, he, he's, 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 he's got a good heart, that guy. Yeah, actually, class. Now, that's why I should respect about Rudy, because he's got a lot of money, but he doesn't make, he doesn't really follow the herd, but he doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He's a nice guy. Let me just check up on that pizza. I don't know what's going on. So any, any, <laughs> Oh, no, seriously, Rudy, I haven't heard anything from Rudy for a couple of weeks now, so I'm just thinking, damn, did I piss him off that bad? Or Then again, you know. He's, apparently he's, he's, he's switched over to the Paul side. Oh, well. Oh, well. It was fun while it lasted, just like any other relationship. Um, <laughs> Diesel. Forbin Colossus, Diesel World. I actually did something about Rolex Productions for Bessel World, and you know it's, it was like early in the morning and just a complete brain fart. And everyone thought I did it on purpose. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I totally did that on purpose. He he he. I I think I saw that, and I I think you you added extra letters, so I thought, oh, this he did this on purpose for sure. Now the Bessel World, and that's actually kind of paying homage. I'm sorry, homage to Archie, because Archie also calls it. Bezel world or Bezel world. Also, Halsolite, Schaffenhausen, Immanuel. No, and no, actually, Immanuel is mine. You notice I got him singing the Patinas chant now? Neither of you even know that that's The Simpsons. Well, no, yeah, until you pointed out, I'm like, fuck, you're right. I knew it came from somewhere. Australian yeah, Mel's were. And he's back. Oh. Yep. Weird science. <laughs> yeah, that's, not, that's not nice. What? I have no mug. 
I, sh I totally should have mailed you one. I wasn't thinking when I sent you the glory. I should have. I didn't even think about it. Ah, uh, the next watch. The next watch. Fair enough. I'm I give sure you there will I give you Bezel bread. Bezel juice. Bezel juice. Bezel juice. So Archie, when when is the pizza going to get here? Hey, hopefully before tomorrow. Look, it's coming. I'm thinking about getting a tag Hoya. I want to get a caliber 11. No. Wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. You're going to get it. You're going to get it cheap. And then you're going to spruce it up on the channel. Then you're going to pump it and dump it like a banger's lady boy. I don't know if they're that cheap, to be honest with you, are they? Maybe I'm confused. I'm not really into tags that much, but is that the Monaco? Yes. Oh, that's a sweet looking watch. And that's the one with the crown that's on the wrong, the left hand side. Just like mm. the original. On the left, just like the original. Just mm. like the original. Because the other one is a caliber 12. You don't really want that. You want the caliber 11. One minute. They didn't have a garlic bread. They didn't give you a garlic bread. They didn't have a garlic bread? I ordered nine of them. No, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> They're gonna. They're, you're gonna be. You're gonna see about five or six guys coming in with loads of garlic bread. Let's okay. take all the garlic in order. <laughs> Turbo, I will. Okay. Jesus Christ! You never guess what happened, don't you? Um, they didn't include the garlic. No, no garlic bread. I thought you ordered five of them. I know that. I've, I've paid for five and I got zero. Let me ring them. They up. ran out. Somebody ordered a bunch of let, garlic let, bread. Let me ring them up. Let me ring them up. Okay, I gotta fucking fix this up. I'm missing out on free food. You understand that or not? It's yes. actually not free if you paid for it and didn't get it. Well, the viewers helped me pay for it. Okay, I'll just ring well, them up and see what them. the fucking problem is. It's, but it becomes the opposite of free once you pay for it and you don't get it. It's, that's the opposite. Look, trying to explain economics to a minotaur is simply a waste of your time and theirs. <laughs> Let me know if somebody pays to kick me off, by the way. Hey, how are you? Man, I will. G'day, g'day there. I, I just had to pick up. I will take time. less money to be kicked off at this point, man, because this, this is supposed to be a garlic bread. You're Five two hours ahead. ahead. <laughs> I'm going back in time. You're two hours ahead. <laughs> but then for Archie, isn't it tomorrow? Yes. Right now, it's, it's, like, it's like 20, it's like noon. 20 minutes after noon in Australia. Okay. No, actually, before you call and complain, you need to get intoxicated first, Archie. I can't believe it. I can't even get my garlic bread. You know how I feel about that. Okay. I think they own you. Well, now, doctor, let's, let us sit there in silence. And watch him eat because if you talk, it's gonna. If you if you or I talk, it's gonna bring the screen to us. And then when it comes back to him, the pizza's gone. Exactly. No, it won't. I press the button. Okay. By the way, there's a super chat. What's the price to have uh, Papa Pluto on a live stream? A minimum of two hours. This is from Turbo. I'm gonna guess he's actually at a, he's at a band practice. He's not available today. AC two. Yeah, but he doesn't want to participate anyway. But the real question Turbo's asking is, what price would he agree to participate? Yeah, he needs a couple hundred bucks. So and then he'll he'll get a couple of bucks. That's what I heard. <laughs> That's probably what it all. Well, but you see, I don't know because <coughs> I think Papa Pluto is probably cheaper and stingier than Archie is. I could actually see them if there's a couple hundred bucks on the table. I could see those two fighting to the death for it. Yeah, they could have a sting job. They could. Yeah. Oh, totally. But I'm sure he wouldn't. He wouldn't participate for unless if somebody paid him hundred or two. That's probably about right. Probably about right. The last time he was on, he did not seem thrilled. He never well, seems thrilled. Well, 
part of course part of the problem is that Archie interrupts him all the fucking time. I mean, you know, I, when I first, it'd probably just be memories for him, just memories. Well, you know, actually, you know, if so you know, all at one is, I want a refund on the garlic bread. If um, it's not, if it, it was not, if I talked, if I interrupt my dad like that, I'm telling Archie he'd pluck those fucking horns right off me. <laughs> he'd slap them off my, he'd slap them off my face, and he wouldn't think twice about it. Ah, uh, I'd just be probably, uh, I'd be finding myself eating a palm sandwich. Oh yeah. Yes. No abuse. No abuse. A love tap. Yeah. In my family. Hmm. Weird science is saying, yeah, you didn't our generation, you didn't fuck with dad. You seriously did not fuck with dad. You said I yes, sir. These guys, no refunds. Sorry, sir, if you didn't check your order, it's nothing we can do. You should demand a free pizza. I don't know what to say. Anyhow, that's how it goes, guys. You can you can still call them back and say, I never got my garlic bread. They said you can I come and pick it up. Oh, go pick it up. Have your kids drive. Oh, Really? Hmm. In America, that that translates to fuck you. It's okay. They haven't been too bad to me lately. Actually, well, the good news is almost gone. Zircon debt, debt recovery makes some YouTube videos about reviewing this pizza joint and then profit. <laughs> Robin, Robin C said, "I wouldn't want to get in the way of him and Federico arguing over a pizza." Mm. Leone, he's lying, guys. Chill. So, guys, I got to tell you the truth. There, I think Doc's problem is he needs more watches. He's got I have to he's tell you the truth. He's got a Speedy, he's got a Daytona, and he's got a Gloria. What I mean, what else does he need? He needs a few more nipple dials. Oh, the nipple dial, yeah. Yeah, he needs a GMT to go with his uh, sub nipple dial. I have a GMT nipple. Oh, you do? Okay, that's right. You need a sub nipple dial to go through. And I have a nipple sub. Okay, I stand corrected. Ooh. But I don't have a purple. Oh well. You want? Clive wants to sell a purple, don't you? He used to say that. You know, there's one. The mistake. Box, is. <laughs> there's one in Tulsa. There's one in Tulsa box and papers, legitimate purple, one six eight zero three. I think it's like uh, fifty six hundred. Or six, no, it, it might be six, no, it's real purple. Yeah, sixty-five hundred. I sent you the, I sent you the link to it. What? Like, Jesus Christ! Is that, is that a Craigslist? Yeah, and like I'll authenticate. Meet me. Pick your jeweler. I'll meet you there. Sixty-five hundred. I have to talk. To, I'll have to talk to you, Clive. You have more time near there than I do. Maybe uh, we can work something out. Well, yeah, Maybe dude, I, I see you that. Good. I see you that, and you kind of blew it off. I'm like, oh well, I guess it was over purple. No, no, no. I, I, I don't have the time to fly out there. But if you're willing to help me out, yeah, sure, anything. Talk. No, as a matter of fact, as it turns out, I've got to go to I've got to go to Claremore on Monday, which is right north of Tulsa. I could make it worth your while. Yeah, I could help you out on that. You help me out, I help you out. Yeah. Let me. Um, and I, bought, I bought Gloria at a premium price because I fell for her. Well, you'd be getting a hell of a good price on that on that purple sub. I mean, Jesus Christ! I mean, yeah, six. I mean, to I um, in my life, life. Think, yeah. I mean, I thought he. I think he's letting go of it too cheap. Quite frankly. 65 bucks in papers? Jeez. 
that's why I thought maybe there was some kind of scam built into the whole thing. Not if he, no, I mean, you can tell if it's just like, I'll meet you anywhere, I'll authenticate. <laughs> Box and papers. I mean, it's it's one thing, it's one thing if it's too low, if it's a little bit, un, you kind of you kind of gauge it after a while. It's one thing if it's like brand new. We'll definitely have to talk, even though it's late for you. Yeah. Guys, I want to say thank you so much for doing a live show with me today. I appreciate it. Guys, we better wrap this baby up. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. I think I owe one more beer, don't I, Clive? What do I owe? Clive, let's fix this up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, well, one more beer? I, um, I would suspect a beer's in order. They don't make you sick if they're free. You know this. You know that, don't you? No, sure. Yeah. Uh, and Okay, dokey. So, Clivers, I want to say thank you to everyone who's chipped in today. Don, Don's been permanently banned. Let's just clarify the Don status. Unless, 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 of course, Tim wants to pay hundred dollars to unban him and go back to daily ban. Now, that's or, the only person who can unban him is the person who got him banned, because otherwise right. it'd be a wasn't, breach of contract. Wasn't that Turbo? Yes, Turbo. So he's banned but for then, life. Don is banned for life. Cool. That's okay. But what do we do? What do we do if one of Turbo's personalities pays to ban him and one of Turbo's personalities pays to unban him? Well, that's okay as long as it's the same Turbo. But the truth is, I'm you, afraid actually, that what Archie, what Archie will do is cast the checks. That's what Archie will do. I'm afraid to tell you this. Um, you already cashed it. Yeah. So <laughs> A moment of silence for the Don. I don't know what Long to enough. say. I will so, address this. I will address this further off the air. Guys. Leave it that. See you later. And uh Let's end the show now. That was a great show, guys. Great show. Great watches. Great talk. Stop and press.